Oh, there's two babies on the way. Oh my god. Oh, it, oh it was quads. 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 I think. Grand Latige. No. 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 Hi guys, and welcome back to yet another Sims 2 video. Today on stream, we're gonna be playing Nina Caliente and Kaylin Langrak. They are roommates, but more than that, they are first and foremost girls living in the same house that have like eight kids combined. Okay, not eight, but like six kids combined. And okay, this household is gonna be crazy today. I'm gonna be suffering. I'm gonna be screaming. I'm gonna be really annoyed. So if you are um, in the mood for watching me yell at my computer screen, which you all know, like when you yell at your Sims game, it loads quicker, it runs better. It if you show if like if you show your frustration for whatever reason, and I swear this is like scientifically it tested. If you yell at your game, it runs faster. Chat, back me up, okay? If you guys would like to join us live for streaming ever, I stream every single Saturday, 7 p.m. EST, twitch.tv slash a cotton sock. But without further ado, let's just jump into some recap from the last stream. So in the last stream, if you didn't watch, oh my god, that was such a sad stream. Daniel Pleasant died okay he died of the pleasant view 19 rest his soul we threw him a funeral it was very sad emery she was heartbroken that her father passed but but if you guys don't know there was so much drama there was so much drama in the last stream because rory pleasant who is angela's baby was born okay when daniel died rory was born like within the same exact day it was so bizarre but if you don't know who the parents of the other parents of rory is it is none other than dustin broke and if you don't know i have like this headcanon and also i really don't like angela so i'm probably like projecting a little bit on her but it's okay because it's a sims game but the other parent of of rory, of rory pleasant is dustin broke and angela didn't tell Dustin she was pregnant, but he has a sneaking suspicion. If you watch the last stream, he was by their house at least 15 times, at least 15 times. And you may be wondering, Maddie, why did you break up Angela and Dustin? Like, how could you do that? I personally have a headcanon. Once again, I don't like Angela, so I'm probably projecting a little bit on her. I have a headcanon that Angela like thinks she's better than Dustin because she comes from money and she, Dustin is living in the trailer park right now and I think that she doesn't really like that. Yeah, I just think Angela's really pretentious and that's the vibes she gives me. Also, I'm gonna be 100% honest, I am always team Lilith. Like there is never a situation where I'm ever team Angela. I'm, no. No, no, no. So that's my, um, that's my storyline for Angela and she's a single mother. Now I was going to do a thing where like Mary Sue and Daniel were going to play off baby Rory as their own, but <laughs> Mary Sue aged up to an elder. So and then Daniel died. So it's like, uh, might as well just, you know, say the baby's Angela's and then have her be a single mother. Anyway, we stand Lilith. Thank you, Malachi. We do stand Lilith. We do stand Lilith. Okay. She's evil says pizza. I don't like, I don't, I'm not a fan of Angela. Anyway, but that's, that was the last stream. So in this stream, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing Kaylin, Nina Caliente, Kaylin Langrak, and <laughs> a bunch of babies. Felix Langrak, Finn Langrak, Phineas Langrak, Lillian Caliente, and the brand new edition, Stevie Caliente. Guys, Nina had an alien baby. Nina had an alien baby! She had an alien baby with Don Lothario. And I was just absolutely like aghast when I saw this because she had a freaking alien baby named Stevie. She's so cute. I love the name. So do I. I thought it was so cute. We were on letter S in my Pleasant View, so I thought it was like super perfect to name her Stevie. But baby Stevie, she's an alien. And she, her parents are Don Lothario and Nina Caliente. So Don has fathered yet another baby here in Pleasant View. Oh my gosh, she is so cute though. I love baby Stevie. And then if you don't know, this is another one of Nina's kids. This is just like, she was born with a random townie. Um, so, I mean, nothing really to write home about there, but she's not very cute. She does have red hair though, like her mom. But yeah, those are Nina's two kids, right? So those are Nina's two kids. We have Stevie and we have Lillian. 
And then if you don't know, this was like one of the first streams I ever played. Kaylin had babies with Daniel Pleasant who's died. So like, she's not gonna be getting any child support anymore, but she had babies. Felix, who's over here, they're gonna age up soon too. We also have Finn over here, who's a redhead, just like his dad. And then we also have Phineas. So these are Daniel's and uh, Kaylin's babies. And then to top it off guys, as though that was not enough babies, okay? We have one more on on the way so kaylin is pregnant right now i want you guys in chat right now tell me who do you think the dad of kaylin's current baby is it is i'm gonna give you a couple of hints it is a pleasant view playable pre-made pleasant view pre-made okay oh daniel says darren okay do we have any other guesses dustin okay malcolm <laughs> okay it's not blue water village it is pleasant view i have talked a lot of shit about this specific sim and I have a really, I have a headcanon for this specific sim. Oh, Jilly got it. It's John Verve. <laughs> John Verve is the other parent of Kaylin, the one, the baby that's currently in her stomach. He is the parent. So Kaylin and John will be having a baby. She does have, she has a wish to have a baby. Like I can't just deny her that when she has her youth. Okay. When she's young, of course, I know you guys, you guys should have known. If you don't know, um, I have a headcanon for John Burb that he has a, uh, we'll just say he has a shmreeding mink. Yeah, that's what we'll say. It rhymes with shmreeding mink. Um, just for the, you know, <laughs> people at home. <laughs> figure that one out so he just goes around getting all of the pleasant view women um pregnant because he has a shmeeting make so yeah mm -hmm. i just got here while you're breeding your sims again it's like they're dogs why are you breeding your sims again <laughs> i'm not if if a sim has a wish to have a baby then who am i to deny them the simple pleasure of having a baby okay i'm not here to cock block them all right, if they want it, then I gotta deliver, okay? Okay. Anyway, so that is where we are right now in Pleasant View. That is the family we're gonna be playing today. If you notice down here, we only have two days left with this family. So we're probably gonna have Kaylin's baby and do some, um, I don't know, more hunting for men that Nina can maybe lock down. She does wanna have five woohoo, five different sims, or woohoo with five different sims. So we'll, we'll see if we can get to that. He's got a eating bray, inke. <laughs> That works too. <laughs> guys, figure that one out. So, oh, I have to tell you guys, Lillian, who is Nina's daughter, has eight points in creativity because of this piano right here, which I think Don dropped this off for us, but he dropped off a whole piano and Lillian just goes to town on it and she's like a prodigy. Like this girl is, a, she's Mozart. She's Mozart at like age eight. <laughs> So that's kind of uh, not the piano. Like she is literally a prodigy. I don't know what to tell you guys. She is like insane. Oh man, <laughs> my Sims Two is officially. <gasps> oh, okay. She's got her third bump, so she's gonna give birth in 24 hours. Man, she is. She is due to give birth. I gotta keep an eye on her so she doesn't die. Acid says my Sims Two is officially loaded. You influencing again? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Ah, uh, John bread throw is just Sammy, yes. She's gonna need to be if she isn't a looker. She is not that pretty. It's because, okay, I probably should show the family tree. That'd be, everyone always asks me to show the family tree, so I will. Um, she's the child of Oliver Desperate, who's like a random like townie or whatever. She has that template. He has that template face. So unfortunately she got like half of his template face. I mean, I think Nina has template face too, right? Don't all like pre-mates and plus you basically have template face, but she like she's just not she's not it okay but we do have stevie she's a little alien oh my god i love her i think this is i bet stevie will turn into like my favorite sim plus of you i can foresee it she's a parent she's a child of dawn and nina so i mean it's gonna be a cute kid just letting you guys know all right so i think nina if she has a baby like in the process of trying to woohoo with all these different sims i don't mind that um, but Kaylin will actively have wants to have a baby when these guys are like literally super poor. They are so broke and she just wants to keep having popping children out. So you know what? I'm not here to deny her. <clears throat> 
have the alien experiments mod and he wanted to get a larger scale and have a baby so i interpreted that as wanting an alien baby but he came back dead instead of pregnant oh my god <laughs> i might need to get that mod hold on all my all my knowledge sims will be dying if i get that mod <laughs> everyone will be just dead at least he doesn't age now so he has ample time to adopt a baby oh well at least that's something right we should do a prediction i said i was gonna do a prediction last stream and then that just never happened so why don't we start a prediction will they be a boy or a girl um let's do a 10 minute submission period just because i think it's gonna take us a little bit to get through this next day so i'm gonna start the prediction it should like pop up in your guys's chat oh we need groceries okay i'm gonna have nina go ahead to the when does she work she works at 9 a.m okay she does have work in the morning so i'm gonna have her quickly run to the grocery store go and have like a little community outing i think i'm going to when when both girls are like done messing around i think i'm gonna get them together i've never had nina date kaylin so i know a lot of you were telling me before that you do have them date and i like that idea i also think here's okay so here's the problem i have right lillian is just a couple days younger than kaylin's triplets and what's going to end up happening is Lillian is going to be attracted to these. She's going to have some chemistry, probably, more than likely, or one of them will have chemistry with her. So I need to either have Kaylin and Nina get married <laughs> or be related to each other in some way or another so that these children that have been raised together won't have attraction to each other. Because it makes me really uncomfortable that these that these four right here we're literally raised together and then they, then they would suddenly be like it just ew yuck yuck i don't like that so something needs to happen there i probably oh lecture why are you lecturing her what be lectured nina's like why did you get pregnant again we're already so poor she's like why how could you do this to us how could you do this to us kaylin we're super poor and you and you're getting pregnant again with John Burb, none left, none less. That man is a serial impregnator. How could you do this, Caitlin? <laughs> what if it actually work? <laughs> she got lectured. Oh, right, I can add them, I can add them to ACR friends though, but I like the idea of Caitlin and Nina together. I think it's cute. It's cute. I've never had Nina, I don't think I've ever had Nina get with a woman. So we're probably gonna try that out um, at some point. So, stop getting knocked up. The way that that worked so perfectly, I love it <laughs> all right so we need to go to a grocery store i got like distracted we're gonna go to is this uh i need little and local is that i need i don't i can't tell what's okay here else grocery let's go there i know that's a grocery store <clears throat> bro i have an apex ad let me in oh no <laughs> that was good i can't believe it was like perfect timing for her to lecture her too <laughs> It's perfect. These guys are so, they just love the piano. Like everyone in this household is gonna have so much creativity skill because of this damn piano that Don, I think of all people dropped off. <laughs> Nina's like, close your legs and married men. <laughs> oh my God. Nina King Shamer confirmed. I'm gonna guess it's twins. So, okay, so how I handled the prediction, if it is twins, it's just whatever is the first baby born, that's what the prediction because i can't choose both boy and girl for the prediction so it's got to be either one or the other i'm sorry i'm sorry if you guys are predicting twins and you think I'm, you're gonna get like points either way it's i just can't do it that way okay so we're at the grocery store is there any hot men here oh my god kennedy cox is here he's an asshole isn't he he's like a jerk whatever nina doesn't care nina's not nina's not opposed so he has i actually think that out of the townie template phase his tiny template face is not bad. He's got a little bit of goopy skill carbo face. Oh no, he looks like Benjamin Long. That's who his face looks like, right? That's he has the same uh, face template as, as Benjamin Long. Um, yeah, Kennedy Cox is his name. And I think he's one of the better looking townies, to be honest. So I'm gonna have Nina go and introduce herself. Oh my God, Brandy Letourneau is so pretty. I don't know why I just, oh my God, she's a lesbian too, or bisexual, cause she just fawned over Nina. She is really cute. She's one of the cuter townies, I will say. Kenny's everywhere he is. All right, let's just chat with him. Um, I don't know, hold on, do I have a spawner in this lot? Cause I wanna check if he is, if this is even worth my time. Um, what's his sexuality? He is bi, okay, yes. Yeah, so it is worth my time. Brandy's bi as well. 
All right, so I'm gonna have Nina probably just talk to him a little bit. Should we go on a date with him <laughs> so he doesn't leave? Um, ask, uh, do you like what you see? Let's see if he has attraction to Nina. Is this a clean hood? Yes, it is, yeah. All right, come on, Kennedy. Come on, do you like me? Let's see. He, oh, he likes us. Okay, perfect, perfect. What does, what does Nina think? Nina has two bolts, so you know what? I'm gonna go for it. She's not picky anyway. Let's ask him on a date. He said yes, and look at this. Look at, we went to the grocery store not thinking that we'd have a date, but here we are. We have a date. That, that escalated very quickly. Okay, I'm gonna buy them at Max Groceries. I see his cheekbones from here. He is very like, he has a very structured sort of face, right? Look at him following us around. He is whipped. Let's chat with him. He wants to be tickled by us. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, she fears getting married to Kennedy, and she fears getting married to this to this vampire. If you guys have watched this series before, you know who this vampire is. He has been all over this town for some reason. Oh no! We had a bad conversation with him. Damn. I wish my grocery store had an arcade section. I feel like this is like so 2000s, like having these kind of machines in the grocery store, I don't know why. Brandy is like all over Nina. Brandy is very pretty, like I- she gives me Instagram model. She's one of the better looking townies, I think, personally. I would not mind her genetics in my town. <laughs> Finding tickle groceries shopping honestly work. <laughs> I'm gonna have us go to the diner because that's always open here in Pleasant View late at night. So let's see, let's go to the diner. She's so pretty, she really is. I like her, I like her face a lot. She has template face. All these townies, all these, all these, some of the premiates do have template face, um, but she has one of the better template faces. That's where every wants to be tickled. It's very strange, right? Like, I can't imagine just having a normal conversation with somebody and then just randomly tickling them. I don't know. <laughs> it's a little bit, it's a little bit weird, but you know what? I digress. I digress. <clears throat> it does get the relationship up quite a bit when you tickle, so I can't be mad. Will says, I'm switching my default skins. How do you change a sim's skin tone from a custom one? By the way, I don't have any dead, dead eyed sims, dead eyed sims. How do you switch a skins? Oh my God. You'd have to, you'd have to ask on sim score, Will, cause I have no idea. Man, who got, who, who pregnant? No one's, well, I mean, Kaylin's pregnant, but we're not playing. She, she's back in the household. She looks like Brandy with brown hair. She does. It's like when you say hot stranger, you have a brief domestic fantasy bow, except you approach him instead of leaving. What? Since being tickled, this is fine, literally. Oh my God, she's just trying to get a candy bar. No, no, what are you doing, Nina? Go and eat. She's thinking about chips. Listen, Nina, same. I also am a chip fiend. I love a good chip. Especially the dill pickle lays ones. Oh my God, they're so good. Body shop? Oh, body shop could work, Will. All right, let's see. Um. Where's Malcolm's here? Okay, cool. Where is Kennedy gone to? Kennedy, please sit down. I'm trying to get some food here. I wish like Sims could autonomously propose if they're not in your household. I think there's probably a mod to do it. Who's the baby daddy? The baby daddy is John Burb. None other than John Burb, of course. Serial impregnator in my town. Can't keep that man away from anybody. <clears throat> flirt with Nina? Is anyone here? I don't want to flirt. Um, the good thing is, with this household, I can bring Sims home and they won't get, like, the cheater the cheater reputation. Because, I mean, Kaylin has- Kaylin doesn't give a shit. Kaylin understands, in fact. Kaylin- Kaylin sympathizes with Nina's endeavors. <laughs> but I don't think anyone here is romantic with- Oh my god, that thunder's so loud. <clears throat> I don't think anyone here is uh, mentally involved with Nina, so I think we should be good to flirt with him in public. I wish Sims would- Oh look, Malcolm's trying to hit on Nina too. Mr. Mr. Malcolm that you guys like to roast me for his makeover. <laughs> I think he looks cute. I think he looks cute. And you know what? He's, he's, he's dating Dina, so it's like a perfect combination because Dina's face I gave her like a plastic look and now Malcolm has a plastic look, so it's amazing. <laughs> he never cheats on Jenna in my games. Oh, he cheats so much. He cheats so much in my game. It's like, I can't control it because I turn around and he's like flirting with somebody. All right, go to the bathroom. <clears throat> it is very late and she has work at 9 a.m. So I need to have them hurry and quickly do this woohoo because we need to hurry up. 
Did you guys hear the wolf whistle? All right, let's quickly hang out with Kennedy. Just get them romantically acquainted here. Make sure no one's here again. Where's my ACR spawner? I can check easier then. Anyone here that I care to see if I'm cheating? No, I don't care. All right, let's do some romantic stuff. Kiss. You can't whistle. I can like barely whistle. It makes my teeth, because my teeth are really sensitive. It makes my teeth feel weird, like gross. Ugh. Oh my god, she's kissing up, kissing up his hand. I keep, I'm gonna keep checking and make sure- Oh! Okay, they have a crush now. So that's good. He wants to dance with Nina. Oh, they both have a crush! Amazing. Okay, let's go in woohoo in the photo booth. Why don't we? So she will have a 15% chance of getting knocked up here, guys. Don't forget about that. Hopefully no one comes on this lot as I'm woohooing. I keep checking to make sure there's no one that's coming here. <gasps> oh! Tr trying to try for baby Nina would get pregnant. Why did I get this random message? That's interesting. Um, I've never had this message. Okay, I've never had that message pop up. That's I don't know how I got that. Maybe I messed with the setting. I have no idea. My cat just freaked from the wolf whistle. Oh no! I'm sorry. Oh, she moved with five different Sims. Congrats. Okay, I gotta update her her spreadsheet here. So what I do, if you don't know, this is how I keep track of all of my Sims that. Uh, woohoo with whoever. So she's woohooed with what is his name? Kennedy Cox. These are all the sims that she's woohooed with. So she has one, two, three, four, five currently. So she needs like a lot more because her lifetime if you don't know why I count, it's because her lifetime wishes to woohoo 20 different sims. So that's how I keep track of who she's woohooing with. Anyway, we have to send her home like right now. She has work in the morning. We really gotta go, Kennedy. It was fun. I'm just macking on you in front of these people cooking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this guy, this waiter's like, oh my god, not this again. People come in here like once a week, <laughs> making out with each other. All right, we gotta go home right now. <clears throat> Photo booth is so shameless. My goodness, I know. It's like right next to the to the kitchen. I feel so bad. It's probably very unhygienic. I never even thought about that. How the how the, how the photo booth that photo booth has got so much action because I always have my Sims visit this lot, and it's like, oh my god. It's like every every other every other household, someone's woohooing in that photo booth. All right, so now Kaylin's gonna be left home for those however many hours we were away, with all her kiddos, which is she has to take care of not only her kids but also Nina's kids, Stevie, mostly Stevie. Their Sims are pretty easy to take care of once they hit child, but like when they're babies and toddlers, oh my god, toddlers are a nightmare in The Sims 2, much like any other Sims game. We also need to make sure that Nina or uh, Kaylin, sorry, is constantly in a good mood because otherwise i don't want her to like miscarry because i do have a miscarriage mod you know it's probably gross in there that that photo booth is probably disgusting the way nina lectured her but then left her alone and prego i i don't know why she lectured her i don't know if i like have a mod that makes it so sims like lecture one like i i literally can't tell you um we also need to call oh looks like lillian's up she wants to do her homework this kid i'm telling you guys she is gonna be a prodigy also the triplets are aging up in one day so we have that to look forward to. Here's the room. It's I'm, I'm sad that they have to share a room, but I mean, what am I going to do? I don't have any more space. I'm going to have... Oh my god, she's up at 12 to do her homework. Amazing. 12 a.m. and she's up just to do her homework. Did she already do her homework? Where is her homework at? Did I already have her do it? She... Oh, no, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, but... Oh my... Oh no, she just walked in on Phineas. Oh my god, this is what I'm talking about. Like... This is just not it. Yeah, you accidentally walked in on him. I am so sorry about that. That is very awkward. I'm gonna send Kaylin back to bed. She does have work in the morning. Oh no, she doesn't because she's pregnant, right? Oh no, Stevie. Stevie needs to be taken care of. Let's go and um, hold Stevie. So this is Nina's baby, Stevie. She's taking care of her when Nina's away. But I feel like Stevie is easily gonna turn into my favorite sim in Pleasant View because one, she's an alien and I love the aliens. And two, she is a ch Oh, she's rubbing her tummy. That's so cute. I've never seen a sim do that before. What? I'm gonna have her change her diaper and just feed her. These kids are in a really good mood, by the way. Look at their mood. It's all, it's all like in the platinum aspiration, which is really nice. Um, oh, he's taking a bath. He did that autonomously. I'm gonna have you take a shower instead. Actually, no, he's in a, he's fine. I'm gonna have him go do his homework because he wants to do his homework. Gotta get those grades up so he ages up well. 
There's Lily and Lillian's. She needs some fun. Our TV broke, so I'm gonna have to call. Oh, you didn't change her diaper? Why? Is there a problem? No, she changed it. Okay. <clears throat> Put her in the crib. We use the toilets and sleep. I feel like I should have told you guys who Kaylin is. If you don't know, if you've never played this in Super Pleasant View before, Kaylin's the pre made town maid. Like, she will come to your house. She's the NPC. I mean, she is technically playable, but she's the maid and I moved her into town because she did get pregnant with Daniel. And whenever a sim gets pregnant, that's like a, a, a role sim. Is that what they're called? Ser service sim. Whenever a service sim gets pregnant, I move them into town so that I can play that pregnancy out. Um, so that's that's Kaylin. And then Nina. I mean, we all know who Nina Caliente is. She's infamous. She's infamous in the game. Look at Lillian. Dude, she's going to be a prodigy at the age of 10. Oh my god. Wasn't she woohooing? Yes, yeah, so, so Kaylin was woohooing with Dawn. So, kind of a interesting situation here in Pleasant View, I will say. Wow, Lillian is just, look at this girl, our prodigy for real. <laughs> she is just amazing at playing piano. Her Lillian Dawn probably woohooed on that piano too. Yeah, there has been woohoo all around this, all around this house, honestly. When your parents are rooting for your downfall from day one. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's go and have all the triplets take a shower. Nina's gonna return home with groceries in three hours. I'm sure Kaylin's like, what is taking so long to get those groceries? Damn. She's smacking them keys. She is. She is hammering on the piano. It does take Sims like many hours to do their homework, so I need to make sure that I'm allotting enough time. Yes, Phineas, you are in a bad mood now. I'm sorry. Go play with some toys. Go on. Stevie. Are sure this sure this kid isn't called Stevie? Stevie. What are you saying, D'Angelo? Hi, color. Color Robbie. How are you? <clears throat> All right, Phineas, get your fun up. I don't know why the toys really doesn't get them that much fun up, which is weird. <clears throat> um, Kaylin's up again. What is happening? She like keeps getting up. I don't know why. <gasps> oh, it's uh, it's Stevie's birthday. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I forgot that it was her birthday. Yay, playing red hands does. Okay, I'll have, to have them play red hands. Yay, happy birthday, Stevie. Your mom isn't even here for your birthday. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. That's awkward. Whatever. Here she goes. She's aging up. So this is going to be... I can I can almost foresee this is going to be my favorite sim in Pleasant View. I'm just letting you guys know right now. Oh, I got to get a photo of little Stevie's age up here. Stevie. We also have to save the game because I have not saved in such a long time. Because that would... It would be tragic if I just lost everything I did. Like, or Boohoo with Kennedy... All that stuff, so let's save. <clears throat> Her back looks like it hurts. That's the biggest bump in Sims 2 I've seen. Are you serious? Don't don't jinx it, pizza. Don't jinx it that she's having triplets. Don't 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 even don't even start with me. Is she gonna age up or what? <laughs> Stevie, Stevie, play with Stevie, cuddle Stevie. She's so cute. Oh my god, I love her. I love aliens. <clears throat> Alien babies are so cute. I don't know what it is. Oh. Oh, yeah, I see my game is like lagging. Uh oh. Oh, let me have um the kids play red hands instead of doing toys, because that takes too long to get their fun up. Alright, play red hands. This kid's fine. This kid is like one of the kids is like super neat and one of them is like super Okay, so this one, this one is Daniel's clone, by the way. His name is Finn. He looks just like Daniel. He has Daniel's personality too, because he's super sloppy. If you don't know. Kaylin is super neat because she's a maid, so it's like, one of them is like Kaylin and one of them is like, because the rest of them are neat, I think. This one, Phineas is neat, and then this one, Felix is also pretty neat, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have um, them all do their homework here. No, don't play with toys. It's just do your homework. If they have a wish to do their homework, I will have them do it, but only if they have a wish to. Otherwise, they can just, they can fail, okay? They can fail. Okay, I guess, is she not gonna age up? Stevie's like not aging up, I don't know why. I'm gonna have to go to the sim, manip sim manipulator tree. We'll age up Stevie here. I think he's, she's gotta put her down on the ground. All right, 
right, let's have her go pick her back up now. Age her up. Here we go. Yay, happy birthday, Stevie. Hey, how does she have that hair texture? I don't know. We'll have to change it. <laughs> Baby's about to get canceled on Twitter. Oh, no. I don't know why, but it like is either this hair or like um like another like afro textured hair that they always get when they age up. I don't know why that happens. It's always one of those two hairs though. All right, so I'm going to give her. I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna give her something short because I hate when I have like super long hair for my babies. It just doesn't make too much sense. Like this one's. I mean, I don't know. Hmm. I kind of like to make my toddlers bald because that makes sense, doesn't it? Are most toddlers like bald? She got a UG. I did like the buns. The buns were kind of cute. Her nose is. She has Nina's nose for sure. She does have Nina's nose, so yeah, here she is. She's so cute. Oh my god, I love aliens. She's she's cute just for the sheer fact that she's an alien. Okay, that's plain and simple. We need to go and feed her downstairs. I'm gonna have Nina go and or uh, Kaylin go get her a little bottle. <clears throat> they age up with a chemical burn from the spiral perm. Oh no! <laughs> When did Kaylin get pregnant? She got pregnant off. I played a I played a couple days off screen, so that's when she ended up getting pregnant. But yeah. Oh my god! Put the bottle down. She's gonna drop off the groceries. Yes, we got groceries. That's good. Come and drink your bottle. Here we go. This house is so chaotic, guys. Like we are actually gonna die. It is gonna be just pure chaos. Put them away. What are you doing? Are you stupid? Here we go. Okay, go sleep. <clears throat> oh, I forgot my hot tub. How could I forget that? Kaylin needs to go and get some leftovers. Oh no, she's so hungry. Wait, did all the kids finish their homework? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to do so much micromanaging in this household. Because this is just... Oh, he has so much homework! He has so much homework to do! Did I never have him do his homework? Who's homework? Oh, it's Phineas's homework. Damn you, Phineas. Are you Phineas? I can't tell them apart yet. Go do your homework. And you need to go and like play red hands or something because you are just in a horrible mood. Um, you go play cops and robbers. I don't know why they can't play red hands, but it's just not happening. He's also in a terrible mood. I'm gonna have him go practice piano. That gives her fun up, right? This si it's six demons from hell. I know it is. It really is. This is just not it. What is this? Playing the cops and robbers. Wait, what are you? Oh, oh, they're playing cops in the room. I was like, what is she? Did she just die? No, she's playing cops and robbers. I'm stupid. All right, we need a potty train baby. Oh, oh, Kennedy's here. He's dropping off some flowers. Yes, I know. <clears throat> Nina, Nina has work in an hour, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she's, her car carpool's coming soon. Um, go in and clean up. No, I'm not gonna have clean up. I need to make sure that Kaylin like, doesn't die. <laughs> oh, she's disappearing. Oh my God, that was scary. I'm gonna save again because I'm scared. <clears throat> Tegan's cute, it can, it can be unisex, yes. Cute, but basic Kennedy, please do better, true. I love when Minkins play cop storm just because it's one sim will kick the sim pretending to play dead. Wait, really? That's such a cute little detail. Okay, let me put the auto saver so I remember to save because otherwise I will like literally forget to save. Change auto save frequency. We're gonna do it every six hours and that's like oh should i do 12 12 hours i think is the best 12 hours there we go we asked for attention i'm so sorry stevie but we just need to keep miss kaylin langerak alive also doesn't okay my game just crashed fuck my life it crashed it crashed it crashed damn it okay restart restart time all right that's our first crash it's okay i think we just saved i think we're okay what is going on with the bus? Why, what was the bus? I miss your lovers dropping off flowers at the door. I've been playing some support too much. The invisible pink soup. Oh, is it? Did it really disappear? It's because I have uh, Lizzie Duchess's like um, duct tape pink soup. Yeah, so, posture check. Thank you, Katie. Yeah, My back needs to be stressed out. At least you saved. I did save. I think I just saved. <laughs> Thank you guys, thank you. Appreciate it. It's a small details, I know. Isn't that cute that they can, they like play it differently? That's so cute. 
I don't remember how long we saved, but I think it wasn't too long ago. I love your lovers dropping off flowers at the door. It is cute, right? It is a cute gesture. I miss that they kind of... Why'd you delete the oof? The oof sound effect? What do you mean? I didn't delete the oof sound effect. It's still there. I can... I, here, I, I'm gonna redeem it myself. There we go. <laughs> Pizza, get with the program. It's still there. It is still there. I'm, I'm looking through all the sounds. I don't... I think I had a running list and I think I added all the ones I wanted to add. The A games one I think is my favorite. Challenge everything. EA games challenge. It's like that reminds me of that stream we did, Sims Herbs, <laughs> that like I had to restart the game like 20 times. My spectacles aren't working today. Yes, I think they aren't working as well. My game's like frozen. Let it go, let it go. We should do like a hierarchy of what the best sound effect is. Imagine if you were like, yeah, guys, don't they save and you open the game and it goes back to Caitlyn getting her first bump. Oh my god, I die. Don't agree. That was a joke. What? We should do a hierarchy, though, of what the best sound effect is. I vote... I vote failure is probably the best one, the failure. I saved five minutes ago. Thank god. I need to put that autosave thing down. It, sa it autosaves every 24 hours and I would like it to be 12 hours. I like how I just place that down. And it crashed. Just my luck. Tier list. Yes, a sound effect tier list I think would be good. A sound effect tier list is in order, I do believe. My game is taking forever to load up this time. I don't know why. Normally it doesn't take this long. This one is success because I love sending it when people die or something. Oh no! I'm pretty sure people were sending it when Daniel died last, last stream. <laughs> the game is a solo subject, it is. The burglar one's good. Hydration check. I wish I had a drink. I don't have a drink. I drink all my coffee. Do you have a favorite Sims 2 hood? Probably Pleasant View. Pleasant View is the only one I played in. Not gonna lie. Pleasant View is just, it's different. I said it when he died. Oh my god. Next year would be like, hi guys, today we are ranking sound effects. The fart effect. Yeah, we gotta get that. I keep forgetting that that she had that one. Go get some water. I guess I could. It doesn't take, my game does not take that long to open up. I'm scared it's gonna like still be nighttime when we reopen the game. I'm very scared. Blue Water Village. Oh, Blue Water Village. Yeah, but that's like a sub hood, no? Does that count as like a main hood? I don't know. All right. Oh my God, she has no head. <laughs> Kaylin has no head. And Nina has no hair and there's kids missing. I'm scared. Oh my God, she has no head. The save game thing should be global. So no head, no head. I can understand Veronaville, but no Strange Town. Tomato, tomato, tomato. I've never played Strange Town. I need to get on that though. I want to set it up, but I don't know like the I don't know the backstory of any of the Sims in Strange Town. I know, I know, it's like criminal. All I know is like nervous. It was like tested on. I know Ophelia like murdered all her ex-husbands. I know that um, what's her daughter's name or her niece's name or whatever. I don't know. Pink soup hit hard. It did. It did, didn't it? I'd kill for a Strange Town series like this. I would do it. I would definitely do it. I just really don't know much backstory with Strange Town, so I would have to. Uh, I'd have to do some research. Okay, so I think. Okay, so this was just before. I'm so glad I saved. Okay, so the bus is here. So we have a little bit of time. I'm gonna have the kids that finish their homework already go get on the bus. Wow, I just saved like that. I don't think we even lost anything. <laughs> I don't think we lost a single thing. I'm gonna turn move objects on, put the auto saver down so that I can set up the auto save. Nervous is a spawn of the Grim Reaper according to Midnight Hollow lore. Oh really? Did you do Strange Town? I would like to do Strange Town. I would. Alright, go to go to school. We're gonna save, change the auto saver to 12 hours. Go to school. Phineas is so close to completing his homework. I gotta let him finish. I think Nina's yeah, Nina's carpool. She needs to go too. It's like it's gonna be chaos getting all these Sims out the door. We also need to call the repair technician because I'm not having my Sims repair this. Oh my god, that'd be a nightmare because one of them would definitely die. We call the repairman. Yes, Stevie, I know you need to use the bathroom. Get out of the way, please. Your mom needs to go to work. I don't know what Nina does. Nina, oh my god, Stevie's in the damn doorway. Stevie, move! No, Stevie. She's gonna miss her damn carpool. I'm going to die. Teleport, go to work. No, she missed her fucking carpool. Oh my God, I'm so mad. 
Because that damn baby was in the goddamn door. All right, I got to lock her door. Nope. Okay. Stevie, get out of the way, girl. I got to lock her door so that only Nina can go in. Lock. Allow me only. There we go. Wait, what are you doing? Taking a bubble. Okay, now you're- this child needs to use the potty chair. Kaylin, what the hell? Nick and woohoo. Oh, it's Kaylin. Kaylin's gonna be the one. Time to get out the grill. <laughs> Not the grill. Oh my god. Not the grill. I love how the repair technician always has this like long straight hair. Oh, why did I- oh, I think the uh, nanny's here because it thinks that Kaylin has work, but it, she doesn't because she's pregnant. I guess we could keep the nanny here just to take care of the baby while Kaylin like gets some rest and stuff. Oh no, I think she's getting tired and hungry. This is like a horrible combo. Horrible combo. All right, go in. Yeah, drink your drink and then you need to definitely go to bed because I am not having a miscarriage in this household. No, 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 no. At least she's taking care of the baby. That's nice. I might dismiss her. I'm gonna- <clears throat> I'm gonna dismiss her because we don't need her anymore. She'd put the baby to bed. Oh, she's cleaning. Oh my god, this is so perfect. Sometimes the nannies do nothing and it really pisses me off, but when they actually do stuff, it's very nice. <gasps> what is this guy? He just walked by our property. Hello? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, my game froze. Uh, Clarence. He's not that- okay, I'm saving. I- whenever I get those, like, micro lags, I'm 100% just gonna go and save because it's- it scares the shit out of me. All right, I never played Strange Home, but I watched Cindy's streams and it looks fun. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I just wish I knew like the lore behind Strange Town before I like went in and played it. She's so tired. Oh, is the nanny playing the piano? What? Oh, Diego. Diego didn't even say anything in chat. He just redeems Risky. I did it. Hi, Diego. Well, I don't know who you want me to woohoo with, but you got to tell me who. Go get leftovers. I'm going to dismiss the nanny because i really don't think we can afford this nanny oh she's taking care of okay every single time i say i'm gonna kick her out she does stuff that is good oh she turned off damn she's like really much okay i gotta i gotta kick you out though i don't have money for you i'm so sorry nanny i oh my god she's literally serving the baby look at look at lillian dude she when Lillian first began taking drum lessons at school, it was something like a stampede on the Serengeti. Things have been changed, and recently Lillian has- Look, she's like a prodigy, guys. I swear this child is a fucking prodigy. Stop! She's walking in circles! What are you doing, Kaylin? You're gonna die! Take care of yourself! Jesus! Oh my god, leave! Oh my god, there's so much- This house is so small. Can you leave? Shoo! Get out of my house! Um, yeah, she can bring Jose over. Serve lunch. Serve up some hamburgers. Okay, go serve some food. Emery wants to bring- Felix wants to- bring, Yes, that's fine. And she's like, no, don't kick me out. I'm working, I promise. I know, I'm like, just get out. I don't have money to afford you, please. Leave me alone. CV is so cute. I love her. She's my daughter. Okay, so we have a bunch of kids over. Um, also Nina's home. Chaos is this household. I know. It really is. All right, you need to take care of yourself right now. Go grab a plate. Let's just have everyone that's hungry grab a plate. Grab a plate. You hungry? These kids are not hungry. All right, everyone's taking care of themselves. No, Nina. Oh my God, grab a plate. What is what? What, what are you stuck on? Please tell me. What are you stuck on? Please. I would like to know. Oh my God. No one can route. No one can route. Just pure chaos. This is what I was saying. Guys, I'm gonna be struggling. I'm gonna be struggling. This is gonna be a giant struggle. Is this a 100 baby challenge? It might as well be. It really might as well be. And we have more on the way. Just my luck. Who's in the bath? Oh, who's in the bath. Okay, take a shower. I like how most of the kids are just napping after school. <sighs> Put the plate on the counter. Yeah, this needs to go on the counter. Just put it on there. There, okay, good. <clears throat> At this point, we'll go to some butter and cheat. Everyone sees up. Listen, I am anti cheat, okay? I'm anti cheat. I won't do it. I will just do this. I will do this. I will do it. I can do it. Three servants are killing me. You got the whole Toyota dealership in your house. I know. Every color, man. Hi, Veronica. How are you? Oh, she went. Okay, cool. Wait, go put her in the crib now. I feel like we need- oh my god, why is she like playing with the toilet? Please, grab her your daughter, put her in the crib, she needs to go to sleep. 
And then what I'm gonna do, have her use, oh, we have a birthday tonight. We have birthday tonight. Okay, this is perfect. So we need to have, is Kaylin, she's super, oh my God, we're not gonna be able to have a birthday. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, wait, I just realized, hold on. I just realized that Emery is the sibling of Finn, Felix, and Phineas. She's their sister. Oh my god, no, I'm not going out on a date with you. Go sleep. Oh, this is so chaotic. This is so chaotic. I wanna die. I do for pregnancy because I have dinner for Burb, lose her baby once and I cried. I'm gonna cry if Kaylin loses her baby. Her her energy won't go up, please. It literally won't go up. These kids are not gonna be able to get a birthday. I'm just telling you guys right now. They are not gonna get it. At least when they age up to teens, they can help out a little bit. Oh my god. Alright, Lillian, why don't you go introduce yourself to Jose? I'm still having like different sims, seeing who's like compatible with who. And everyone introduce themselves when they grow up to teens, so. Alright, everyone watch TV, just please. The sim can go and go to bed. Change topic? I don't know if they can change topic. What? What? Bed ownership, dude, where's my bed? Go, I know you're tired, go to bed! Oh God, I'm gonna die. This household is just too much. I pick whoever this chick is, we're playing plus Eddie. Eddie? Who's Eddie? <clears throat> oh, no, I'm not quitting. All right, go to bed. I don't know, go do your homework, Lillian. Oh my God, I'm so annoyed. Kaylin's baby should be popping out soon, so that's great. We need we need the baby poppage because her mood is just plummeting. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so why don't we, what I'm gonna do is it's the triplets age up right now. Why don't we call over some people so that they can age up? Um, who should I summon over? Who would be a good, cause like Kaylin doesn't know anybody and their dad is dead. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking we just don't invite anybody here. Who is Kaylin friends with? I don't think she's friends with anybody. She has no friends. Okay, she has no friends. Whatever. Their dad is dead. All right, CPS services. Yeah, I think you're right. Whatever, let's just age him up. Let's age these suckers up. Aging. Wait, I need to... Okay, Finn is about to pee himself, which is great. Love that for me. I'm gonna have... Go make smart milk for Stevie. Oh my god, this is just pure chaos. Let's just- why is this child just staring? He's staring at the table. He has trauma. He has trauma. He's been through a lot, okay? She knows John. We can invite Lilith, but I don't think she really knows Lilith too much, does she? Let's just age him up. Grow up. It's time. It's time for you to age up. Come on. Oh! Okay, grow up. Yes, it's your birthday. This child is me. Alright, and you also age up. Grow me up. Hey! Happy birthday, Phineas! So this is a child of Daniel and Kaylin. He's okay looking, I guess. Um, oh, his turn on the turn offs. Okay, so he does not like sims that are great fire fires, fire fighters. And his turn ons are accessories and brown hair. Phineas Langrock. So what is your let's see what he's gonna be. Phineas is going to be a it's a cancer in my game, so that means he is a family sim. How cute is that? He's a family sim. And then we have Phineas who got sandals and socks, which I love that combo. Just the best, honestly. Ready, just one up two. And he, okay, so Phineas, what is his name? No, this is Finn. Oh my God, they have all, I will have the same syllable. So it's like looking me up. Um, Sagittarius, so he is going to be a fortune sim. Where's fortune? There it is, fortune. And he, I need to roll a number one through four. It's a determined hair color, which hair color he's going to have or what hair color he's going to like. So he picked number three. That's what he just got. So let's get rid of cologne and we're going to do one, two, three. He, li he likes brown hair and he does not like sims that are good at cleaning. He does not like sims that are good at cleaning. And then we have one last sim. We have Felix, who's going to age up now. There we go. Age up now. His hair looks like feathers. The triplets, they should be all the same sign. I know. Oh, <gasps> oh. Oh, it's happening! She's giving birth. Oh my god, there's so much happening. There is so much going on. What the hell? Wait, is she miscarrying? 
watch birth oh no she's okay she's giving birth all right thank god all right there's so much happening okay so he does not like blonde hair he likes good fighters and he likes brown hair okay so felix is the last sim and he is going to be a pisces and pisces sims in my game are knowledge sims so he's gonna be a knowledge sim there we go all right let's watch this birth she's giving birth on the roaches she actually is <laughs> It's a roach baby. It's a roach baby, okay? Oh, there's two! Oh, there's two babies on the way! Oh my god. Oh, it, it was quads! It was quads! It was quads! It was quads! It was quads, I think! No! 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 My heart is beating so fast. No. And we have roaches. Ooh. All right, so the first baby was a boy. So you guys who predicted boy, you guys are gonna win the <laughs> prediction. <laughs> uh, there's quads. What am I gonna do? There's no space. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? Ooh. Oh guys, I think we're screwed. We're gonna have to have an on-call babysitter. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. All right, I'm gonna save. Oh, we can't save because there's a birth going on. All right, we need, first and foremost, we need to call an exterminator. Otherwise, everyone's gonna get, go and get sick. So I like how all of the kids are receiving babies. Like Kaylin's like birthing them and she's just giving her, her babies to her children. Go call, go call for services. We need an exterminator. Oh my God, they're all getting sick. They're all getting sick over these roaches. Clean the, clean the shit up, please. Oh my god, are we need an exterminator? And now Nina's sick too because oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, they're all sick! They're all sick! They're all gonna die! What is happening? Yes, I know you're having more children. I understand that. I understand that. Yep, you're having four. You're gonna have four. Oh what I was blonde! Okay, let's spray all these. Can I just spray all them? Otherwise, they're all gonna get sick. And this is just, okay, she's giving birth in ro next to roaches. It's just great. Oh my God, this is just, okay, we need a photo. It, this calls for a thumbnail photo, guys. I just cannot believe what I have encountered. Oh wow, this is just my luck. This is honestly, honestly just my luck. Love that for me. Yes, I know the roaches. Okay, okay, we need to find, uh, I don't even know what to, I don't know what to do. <sighs> Where am I gonna put these children? We are gonna have to move into a bigger house. That's the only, that's the only solution! Other people in this house, I know. Oh man. This is just horrific. <laughs> this is a horrible experience. Let's spray the rest of these roaches. Everyone's sick too. All right, go to sleep. Phineas is in a horrid mood. We have like, oh my, yeah, she's still giving birth. So she's still giving birth. She's still, it's like two hours later, she's still giving birth. Four babies, yup. You heard me right. All right, so we need to name these kids. So we're on the letter A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. T. We need T names. <laughs> we need four T names. We need four. Um, they're gonna be Langerak babies. So Langerak, I'm just typing Langerak a bunch of times. <clears throat> Tony, Tommy, Tegan. Oh, Tegan's cute, Katie. Yes, we can use Tegan. Um, I'm gonna make it a girl name, Tegan. All right, there's one baby name. We need a boy name now. Tarzan, what? <laughs> Tuna, <laughs> what? Tyler, Tyler, Tyler Langrak. Yeah, that seems about right. Um, all right, Tegan and Tyler. And then we have two, we need two more boy names. Let me write these down in my spreadsheet too. So we'll do what? What was her name? Tegan and Tyler was the other boy's name. Theodore, <clears throat> Trent, Tatum, Taylor, Theo. Theo. Theo's cute. I feel like I've used Theo before, but we'll use Theo. 
And then we'll do, let me see which names I like. Tatum is unisex. Terrence, Diego, Thomas, Trevor, Thayer, Tyler. We just used Tyler. We just used Tyler. Um, I could see her naming him Trent. Like that's like a very, I feel like a very Trent Langerak. That makes sense. All right, there we go. All right, guys, so we had quads. I don't know what is wrong with my triplets and quads mod. It happens way too much, way too much. Like it, this cannot be right. So this is what our spreadsheet looks like right now. I'm like so sick to my stomach. I don't even want to play. <laughs> this is too much. But luckily we only have like, how many, I don't know how many days left, but not many with this family. We have like one day left with them. But when I play them next time, this is going to be absolute chaos and just strife turn on the percent listen i have adjusted it so many times i don't know what the problem is with that mod <sighs> this is so crazy i just i don't even know what to do like where do i put cribs like i don't even know what i okay i have an idea right so there's this bump out in the front of the house what if and i don't think this would be too expensive what if i just chopped down this wall we get some money back for that and I can add a room in the front of this house right here. Oh, this is perfect. This is like a perfect area where I could do this. All right, so why don't we do, we'll make like this, no, oh, nothing to support it. Okay, that's great. Um, that's much like Kaylin. She has nothing to support her. We'll make, oh, why is it, hello? <laughs> it's floating in midair. Um, let's just put this there. And I like how there's flowers. Like, that's the last thing I need right now. I can sell them for 55 simoleons. Thank you, game. Honestly, this feel I feel betrayed by my own Sims game at this point. I cannot believe quads. Like, quads. You're shitting me, right? Maybe just the mods are 2.5%. I don't even know. I don't I have no idea what it's on. I have no idea what it's on. I'll have to take a look at it because it is way too high. We had we she has had oh I think she has a hidden family token, doesn't she? Does Kaylin not have a hidden family? Kaylin Langerat Sims 2. Does she not have a hidden family token? John better pay up. He 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 better. Let's see. Does she have a hidden family? I don't I don't remember. She does. Yes, that's why she's having multiples. Is because she has that hidden family token. <laughs> yep, she's also family. I think she does have that hidden family token. Kelly Kaylin Lingorak. That's how you pronounce it in Korean. Like phonetically. We've got all these different names. Lila Lopez in, in, in Mexico. Clara? Clara? Her name is Clara in Spain. Clara. That's so interesting. <laughs> in Swedish, Katarina Lango. <laughs> Katarina Lango. Um in Brazilian Portuguese, Katarina Langorak. In Dutch, Kaylin Langerak. In Finnish, Katri Lassila. Lango, isn't that weird? Lango? Interesting. All the different languages. That's her name. All right, anyway, I think that's why she had multiples is because she has a hidden family token. Anyway, this house is gonna be very boxy, so I hope you guys are, are okay with that. Um, but we need all the room we can get in this house and i don't even think we can afford beds i don't think we can afford enough beds something is gonna have to get sold here and i'm thinking it's gonna be this piano i know i know lillian is gonna be heartbroken about her piano oh we have a hot tub sold they haven't been using it anyway so it's okay we'll sell that and we will then go in and add some cribs in here because we are going to need so much space like four babies of course just my luck just my luck she has that damn hidden family token it just screws me up okay um i don't know where to put there. this is gonna be a huge and very ugly room <laughs> i'm just letting you letting you guys know Tokens don't impact the outcome with triplets and quads, if I recall, so you just have shit luck. How is that po- like, there is no way, Will, there is no way that I'm just getting this many triplets and quads just naturally. There- there can't. It, it's um, like, statistically, highly unlikely, unlikely, unlikely. If I am actually getting this just in, in natural Sims 2, then I should play the lottery because I am the most 
lucky or unlucky person, however you look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least a version of it, it's a pick and choose version. There's a pick and choose. Oh my God, this is just ridiculous. All right, I'm just gonna make it blue. Oh wait, there's one girl, right? What's her name? There's one girl and three boys. I don't care, I'm putting them all in the same room. Her name is Tegan. They're all gonna go in the same room and that's in that. Honestly, I probably could split this into two bedrooms eventually. Tegan, yes, Tegan. It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. You're not, you're not wrong. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to do some building here. All right, guys, you ready for my building moment? Let's say that Langrak or Lango name will live on. That's so true. Langrak is gonna be in this town for a very, very long time. That line will not die out. Let me just tell you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna split up Tegan from her siblings because she deserves her own room, okay? Um... The boys' nursery is gonna be huge. I mean, if it's just her in her own room, she doesn't really need like a huge space, right? Okay, her room is have, has a weird shape, but that's okay. Looks foul, thank you. A cotton sock, epic nursery speed belt, true. Let's do this. We're gonna, I'm gonna just give her like a pinkish room. This is also Kaylin's first girl. So I feel like she's gonna definitely favor her girl over the boys because she's had like 10 boys <laughs> she's had so many boys and i think that don't do it just put them all in one room and use baby gate to lock them in all together i i, I kind of like the idea of splitting them up though like kaylin would definitely shower this kid with many much much affection why is the door okay hello why can i not what a door is there? Oh, there's a light on the wall. Duh. Okay, the, that door was so expensive. All right, so we all have cribs. Everyone has a crib, right? Yes. I need to put wallpaper in Tegan's room. It needs to be. It needs to be cheap wallpaper because I cannot afford. I cannot afford this, unfortunately. I have to be like sparing with their money now. I need a light in Tegan's room. Damn, it's dark in here. So this house has no windows in the front, which is kind of a problem. Tegan got a box. It's more of like a, like a, like a box that's missing a corner. <laughs> There's a baby on the ground outside. Oh my God. I think I can wish. Oh, should I wish for money? I do have this dusty old lamp. I feel like we could wish for money, no? I think we can wish for money. One of them has to be, oh wait. Okay, I have an idea. I have an, oh wait, they have no roof. There's no roof on this house. There is no roof on this house. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm just gonna auto roof. Oh my God, it's a box. Lord help me, it's literally a box. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> it looks so bad. Oh, no way. It's a straight up box. Oh man, this is just genuinely so hideous. Eek, not the box house. Okay, okay, I have an idea for a for a roof, right? What if we do? Yeah, I build houses. Looks like a monster house. It looks like my house is what I try to build. No dimensions, but we love it. There needs to be a window right here, but I don't have money to put it in there, so. Well, everyone wants to criticize me in chat of how to put this roof on, but no one wants to actually help me, so fuck you guys, okay? You guys wanna you guys wanna hate on me, but you have no advice of how to how to make this not look like a box. So so either help me out or <laughs> I love roofing in the Sims 2. So basically what you do is Yep. And then you thank you. <laughs> Roof looks perfect. I see no problems here. Shapeless. What well, step one? Delete everything. Okay, Diego. Listen, the original <laughs> What am I trying to do? I don't know. Honestly, this roof does not look half bad. Like, come on, be honest. How about you pull a tiny section out? Pizza, we have $167. With what money do you expect me to pull a side out with? 
whatever i don't care no one like you guys all want to shit on me in chat but no one wants to fucking help me so fuck you guys i'm not even gonna listen to you guys anymore all right tegan goes in there Put her in there okay we are going to need all the help we can get oh my god the babies are already about to age up sell the tree i know to be honest i thought it was the back of the house um oh my god they're all everyone is just in a horrible mood okay what i'm gonna do is finn is in okay he's in an awful mood i need someone that is like not in an awful mood to wish for money thank you for giving me um water check but or hydration check i just don't have don't have a drink near me oh my god please just go to bed please he's stomping on the roaches stop oh dear god Oh my god oh my god oh my god she wants to have 10 kids kaylin how many does she have one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven kids just seven kids ah. <laughs> she wants to have three more guys she wants to have three more children like what what in the hell this is gonna be the most awful playthrough i think that we've ever had i'm gonna be in pain she's damn closer she is she's really close to getting that many children like she can probably do it honestly um also everyone in this household is now sick so i need to have her serve up some grandma's comfort soup okay now we'll have okay so stevie needs to be taken care of Honestly, I'm glad Nina is not pregnant herself because otherwise this would have been hell. Yes, you have roaches. I know. I can't do anything about it. What is Phineas wearing? What is this outfit? <laughs> okay, he's also like half balding. I don't know why it looks like that. The hair is like sheer. <sighs> the title of the stream is extremely fitting, I know. Technically, if she adopts Nina's kid, she'll have eight. This is true. Oh my god, my game is like... It's not moving. Okay, Phineas. I don't know why his hair is like half balding in light mode. I'm gonna give him this hair. I always use this hair, whatever, it looks fine. He has a schnauzer on him. He has Daniel Schnauzer. Um, should I give him some facial hair? <laughs> some sideburns, why does he have a gap? <laughs> Giving me Hugh Jackman. I kind of like this on him. I don't know, whatever. Just I'm trying to make them look different so I remember who they are. Let's see what else can i give him oh the anime shirt should he be an anime kid <laughs> um okay i'm gonna give him these clothes oh we had to check their sexuality i didn't even check their sexuality why is his hair like sheer it's pissing me off do you guys see that does anyone know why it's sheer look at the hair it's like sheer why why me what is the problem here what's his hair is like, you can see through it. Why? It's not, he doesn't look bad. It's high poly. I put in a mod to fix that. Can I have the mod please? I need it. It's the jeans. He went from 13 to 30. It's in the CC mod channel. Thank you, Eve. I appreciate it. Well, I definitely need to get. Watching you all play, wait, okay. Will on our discord just sent a picture watching you while i play the sims thank you will all right let's get this let's get this transparency fix i need this yeah let me get that real quick um oh, i'm gonna do it when i get out of game okay so we need to go over here so someone that's in a really good mood which it's gonna have to be it's gonna be phineas i'm gonna have him rub the lamp and okay he's still in a platinum mood so as long as he's in a good mood oh we can have him wish for money and then we can actually give me wealth give me some money come on i need the money please please give me some wealth genie oh wait you guys can't even see <laughs> you guys can't even see <laughs> i forgot to change it <laughs> my bad okay there we go we're not seeing my bad guys my bad <laughs> all right you have your wish is granted oh look at this get money give me some money okay Hold on. Oh, he looks balding. I wanted a cute photo, but he's balding. Should I save and put that mod in? Because I want a cute little like little thumbnail photo. All right, let me quickly apply this fix. Let's quit. Save and quit. 
the weeds. I know the house looks like an actual actual disaster. He didn't die. OMG. Yeah, I think it's because um, I think it's because he has his mood in platinum that he has not died. Okay, let me install this lazy duchess hair transparency. I don't know why this man is bald. I don't know. I, I, someone said it was because the stuff is too high volume. I guess. Where's my downloads? Alright, downloads. Make sure I don't already have this. Transparency. Yeah, I don't have this fix. Okay, let's let's get this fix. Alright. Wow. This has been such a chaotic stream. Put it in. I've been late, but I say I finally made a Twitch so I could watch it here. So excited. Hi, a wool hat. Oh my god, we have a cotton sock and a wool hat. That's cute. Isn't it more wishes, less chance of success? I have no idea. I don't know how the genie works. Someone in chat will, will definitely know. <clears throat> the curse of the quads. I don't know why I'm so cursed. Like, what is what is it? What is it about me? I'm cursed to have quads all the time. I also need to update our spreadsheet. Pisces is knowledge in my game. That down. Um, what is the next one? Sagittarius is fortune. I like how one of them- wait, did the one that was- hold on a second. Oh no, Phineas is- Phineas is a cancer sim and he's family and he's the one that wished for the money. So technically, I should have the fortune sim because that makes more sense with like the storyline. <clears throat> Also, two of, the, two of them are blondes. Two of the babies are blondes. Hi, King Sebastian. I'll take the blame for the quads because they're actually paying for your downfall quads today. Come on. Come on. Like, what? <laughs> you want to play a game while we wait? And Diego says, okay, Jigsaw. <laughs> we wished for it to help out the family. No, guys, no. Okay, I didn't know that you could look for... Uh, I didn't know that you could look for... At their zodiac sign. Hey, I know what we're gonna do today. What's that reference? All right. Okay, pizza is no. Jigsaw type beat, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so. Got the hair thingy in. Oh, I just closed my game. Oops. All right, tapped it out. I didn't close it. Um, all right, so <laughs> here's the household. Oh my God, the loading screen. The loading screen. Oh wait, his hair is still transparent, guys. It's a Barbie movie reference, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, we're worried about it. We are not affiliated. Oh, pizza's no and pizza are not affiliated. Okay, gotcha. Thank you for clarifying that pizza, I appreciate it. Thumbnail, Brady Bunch looking family. It really is, like, what the hell? On the bright side though, we only have one day left with this family, so I will not have to deal with the babies and getting them all to learn. Um, mm, yeah, so it's just, eh. I'm so mad. I'm so mad that we had so many kids. This sucks. I wouldn't be mad if the social worker came. Thank you, Kimmy. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, all right. His hair is fixed. They're missing a baby? Oh, you mean in the thumbnail? I was like, what? Did my, did my... More than eight Sims mod, not like go through. All right, so here's our here's our photo. This is gonna be the saving grid. Look at the baby in the background. <laughs> Nina's looking like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> oh my god, look at this, amazing. Wait, why is the floor see through up? Oh, why is the floor see through up there? Hello, I could see through the floor. Okay, interesting. All right, take a photo. There we go. All right, give me my money. Give me it. Take it, take it, claim your money. Thank you. Oh, we got 10K! Amazing. He got a memory for it too. What, what was the memory? He got earn 10K. All right, these Sims and these roaches are driving me nuts. You have roaches, Nina. Yes, you're a dirty bitch. Go to sleep. Okay, at least we have 10K. I'm gonna dismiss this genie now. Can I not dismiss him? Dismiss. Oh, he's gone, okay. Genie can get it. He definitely, he definitely put us in a new tax bracket. Oh, it's the first day of summer. Wow, they lasted through the spring. They made it, guys. All right, time to give makeovers for the, for the rest of the kids. All right, so this is, what's your name? Felix, this is Felix Langrock. Now they'll add more windows, yay. <clears throat> All 
for real dirty bitch she's a dirty bitch she has roaches okay <clears throat> all right so here's what's his name he has the same face as his twin brother i mean it makes sense they're twins but i was not expecting them to have like an identical face like what is that i'm gonna give him long hair oh my god he has such a schnauzer that is daniel's nose that is daniel's nose to a t the baby eating concrete on the side i know it's okay we'll get him in a second all right we'll get him in a second I'm gonna give him freckles because his dad has freckles. His dad has a redhead. Um, do some shadows. Oh, and that just adds shadows around his eyes, like the lashes. All right, we'll do that, and then change his clothes. Oh wow, that's quite an outfit. <laughs> Look what he's wearing. Oh my god, what the hell is that? I need more teen male clothing because this is just tragic. It's just absolutely tragic. Should I give him a turtleneck? He definitely smokes grass. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I kind of just want to do like a full body outfit instead of having to go through every category. I might do that. There's like a lot of good stuff from the H and M pack in this game. <clears throat> Else do we have there's so much full body that i never even looked at all this full body stuff there are a lot of them are like 2000s outfits so it's not i mean i'll just give them this one whatever just give them that all right you're done go inside and we have one more kid we have finn yes finn is his name Come on, Finn. He has the- they all have the same face, guys. His eyes are a little bit more close together. I think those are Kaylin's eyes. Should we give him long hair? <laughs> that was like the first thing- Oh, what about a man bun? Okay, that's not his hair texture. Um, uh, what about a man bun? I'm thinking man bun for this last- this last child. Do I have a man bun? Do I have any man buns? I have a long ponytail, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a man bun. Any man buns? I don't have a man bun, really? How do I not have a man bun? How is that possible? Wow, that's disappointing. I'm di oh, here we go. Okay, I have a man bun now. All right, let's do that. And then give him some thicker eyebrows. I think he's like the least attractive one out of his siblings, to be honest. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. The nose. He has a huge nose. They all have huge noses because Daniel is, gave them huge noses. Um, let's do, I'm just going to give him, let's just give him this outfit. Goes with his hair. Goes with his red hair. Perfect. Okay, whatever. No, I forgot to add the pants. Damn it. So no, oh no, I added them. Okay, good. Good. All right, there's his outfit. Cool. Quick and easy. All right, I'm going to check everyone's sexuality and soon to adjust her. I wonder if it rolled it yet. It might not have rolled it yet. I don't know the app. Adjust her. All right, you guys ready? So we have Finn is bi, Felix is straight, Phineas is straight, and that's the triplets. Okay, so which one is Finn? Finn's, Finn's bi, Finn is the redhead. Okay, all right, where's his bed? Felix is sick. They're literally all sick. Guys, they are all sick. Oh my god, everyone's just dead. Everyone is going to die. Go sleep. I think we're... I... I... Oh my god. They won't stop! They won't stop with the roaches! Just please! Please stop! Please, I'm begging you. Please stop. Just go to bed. I'm begging you, please. Please, please, please sleep. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm literally gonna die. Oh, he has more money! Look, we're getting more money! More money's flying down from the ceiling. Amazing. I feel like we should just have an on-call... Um, what's it called? An on-call nanny at this point. Okay, call. We're gonna call service. Oh my god, all the ba all the babies' moods are in red! <laughs> all the babies' moods are in red. Oh, butler! That's a good idea. Did the butlers take care of the babies? Hmm. Oh, okay, we can do butler. Let's do butler. 
All house spawns are in the orange. I know. Guys, I'm I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. I'm trying my damnedest. They're all sick, though. All these sims are sick. All right, we're gonna do butler. Oh my god, this is just a disaster. Yes. Okay, can you go and eat some food? Everyone's like super hungry, in a horrible mood. They're all sick. Stevie needs to be potty trained. Please, Stevie, please, Stevie, please, please, please. Don't go in your diaper, don't go in your diaper. Nope, okay, take her to the potty chair, please. This is just, oh wow. Please cheat just once. Free nannies are butlers. Jesus, okay. At least she's getting potty trained. These sims are like hacking up along. I know, I'm sorry, Lillian. Oh, she's up, okay, go in, grab plate. All right, at least she got potty trained, hey. There we go, that's something. All right, let's put, oh my god, Stevie in the crib. They're a nanny, a maid. Oh, they're a nanny and a maid into one. Okay, cool. All right, she needs to desperately go to sleep. This child needs to eat, like, just, they're all in a horrible mood. Grab, everyone just needs to eat some grandma's comfort soup so that they can feel better, okay, honestly. But what's gonna be, oh, wow. This child is just, oh, where's my nanny or my butler? Where's he at? This <laughs> poor babysitter. Oh, thank you, Sammy. I'm forcing you to cheat. I am forcing you to cheat, save the babies and get some money. <laughs> we have money. We have money from the, from the genie. We have money from the genie. Butler should also take care of the garden. <clears throat> the baby outside. Yeah, where's the nanny at? Or the butler we just hired. Oh, is this the butler? No, it's not the butler. They're in such a bad mood, holy shit. <laughs> okay, how about we wake up Nina? Listen, let's get Nina up. Um, go practice your piano. Let's get Nina up. We're gonna have her help out a little bit with Kaylin. Poor Finn. <laughs> Finn's just trying to sleep, this poor kid. Okay, Theo. All right, we're gonna go change Theo's diaper. <laughs> this is absolutely hell. I'm sorry, I'm trying. <laughs> Katie, thank you for the 18 biddies. Okay, change. This is just, I, I, I'm like dedicating all my focus to this right now. Cheat motives unless you want a social worker saying hello. Listen, there's no social worker. They won't come, okay, I promise. I have a mod that prevents it. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, now we need to change Tyler's diaper. Oh wait, did he not? Okay, wait, where's Tyler? Cheat motives. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> we can get through it. We can get through it. All right, just this. We're, we need to get through the night and then we'll be okay. I'm anti cheat. I'm no social worker. Seriously, I'm serious. I'm serious. School bus. Okay, school bus is coming in an hour. I'm going to save my game too because I'm scared of like, it crashing. You're such a man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Kaylin had four babies. The boys age up and she had one crash. Yes. Only one crash, surprisingly. I saw some barbecues around. So look, our, our, our butler's here. Brady Walter. He's going to save us, guys. Brady Walter. He's going to save us. Oh, he's hitting on Nina, too. Wait, he's kind of... He's kind of... He's kind of... Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I lied. Ah, uh, he's not... Honestly? Honestly? Why is he kind of cute? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, he cooks, cleans, and takes care of the kids, and he's not half bad looking? He's not horrible. Listen, guys, listen, listen, listen. He's not, he's not horrible. <laughs> no, Maddie. <laughs> You're too little. <laughs> Check your eyes. <laughs> he's not horrible, guys, okay? Like, on the scale, he's not half bad. He's not. He's not. He's not. The way she toggled the filter. <laughs> All right, it's okay. Oh my God, the kids need to go to, oh my God, Nina's, oh, okay, she has to go to work. All right, go to the bathroom and we'll go to work. There's gonna be constant crying in this household. I'm just letting you guys know right now. It's gonna be constant crying. Which is okay, listen. Let let the babies cry it out. The butler will take care of it. All right, all right. <laughs> His cheeks are sagging. No, Nina should pay him. That's what I'm saying. Nina and him, she like he could be her next. Woohoo. I don't see a problem with that. I really don't. Anyways, I'm just gonna let him deal with all the crime. Okay, he just threw it on the floor. Cool, all right, whatever. That works too. 
That works. We need to teach Stevie. So Stevie only has three more days. You see cats and dogs in the household. Oh, listen, is that a troll? <laughs> Wait, what? What? He didn't go to school. What is wrong? What? Go to school. Walk to school. What are you doing? Thinking you can skip school? Alrighty. Well, at least there's no more crying, right? <sighs> One baby is difficult. That's what I'm saying, Katie. That's what I am saying right now. He just changes diapers and puts them on the floor. He does. He doesn't put them back in the crib, which is concerning. I don't know why. Hey, at least Kaylin's getting good sleep though, right? Is Am I going to have to have him... Do, does anyone know? I don't know how butlers work. Do we have to... um? Do we have to put him a bed down like in Sims 3? Oh, right. I have to fix the house. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, I need to fix that now that we have money. All right, so I'm going to put this... Oh, wow. This window... I'm gonna put it like here, put one right there, and then we'll put another window right there. They leave? Okay, they leave. Nice house. Is that a troll? Listen, I know the house looks like shit, all right? I don't know how to do a house. It's gonna be very boxy and I am not apologizing for it. So no, okay. The windows make the house look a little bit better, I will say. Now that we have more money. Some add some curtains to Tegan's room. I hate when that I hate when the window or the blinds clip with the damn crib. I hate it. Look at that. Oh, she's on the floor. I can't move it. That roof. Once again, you guys want to criticize me all day, but no one wants to help me like actually tell me how to figure out the roof situation. So either give me some advice, guys, or don't complain. Please and thank you. Kaylin wants to go out on a date. She's working on the next baby. So why don't we do that right now? Who can she go on a date with? Um, who do we got? Let me check who is she? Wait, she doesn't want a woohoo. I think she just wants to have a bunch of, she oh, Kaylin wants to become a, uh, in law enforcement. That's not right. She doesn't want to do that. She wanted to join the underwater, the uh, oceanography. So I'm gonna have to choose her a new lifetime wish which i forgot about that but whatever just go ahead and change it right now <clears throat> lower the pitch of the roof oh i can do that yeah who is next after them uh burbs which is a lot less chaotic all right so let's do is there an oceanography lifetime wish does anyone know oh yeah head of poseidon okay or hand of poseidon all right perfect we'll do that and then what else do we need? There's a baby crying. Um, let's just go out with the guy. <laughs> let's ignore our babies and just go with the guy. Let's just do that. So, who does she have? Oh, we can never go out with Dustin. Dustin's single. <laughs> does Dustin want to become a dad? Oh, he, he could become two dads because he has two kids, right? What is that mod for aspirations? I forget who it's by, but it's new ish. It's new ish. Um, I think it's just like lifetime wish chooser. Like, look that up. It's probably in there. All right, let's ask Dustin on a date. Not him. Why? She's too many. Listen, she wants to have 10 kids, guys. I have to start getting this ball rolling here. Otherwise, it's just, we're, it's going to take forever. Okay, we're going to go to a community lot. Lemaire's lifetime wish chooser. Thank you. Yes, that is it. That is what it's called. I forget who makes it. Dustin, listen, there's two ways to interpret Dustin as a character. Either one, you see him as a creep, which, you know, fair enough. Or two, you see him as like a dad that wants custody of his kid. Either one, um, I don't think you're wrong for having either interpretation. Honestly, go to go to the community lot. Okay, I just threw that. Whatever, it's fine. <clears throat> Wick or something? <laughs> Get her on welfare. I wish I had like a welfare system in place. I feel like they have too much money to be on welfare though. Like they have 16k, so it's. I don't think they have. They're not. They're not poor because of the genie wish. If they if they weren't on the if they didn't have like the genie money bags then yeah I probably would do like a welfare system but <clears throat> I've seen your videos on YouTube and they're really insightful. I used to play Sims on a crappy laptop and I got a new PC. Do you reckon it will function all right on an AMD card equivalent? Uh, AMD has some problems with the Sims Three, especially the mirrors don't reflect ref reflect holy shit reflect properly and the edges are always jagged. It's just a problem that they never fixed with. Um, I think it's drivers on AMD cards. I'm not sure if they ever fixed it, but um, 
yeah, there's some problems with the Sims games on AMD cards, but I think they might have fixed it. I saw a little bit ago on Twitter, someone said that they fixed it, so I could be wrong about this, but I would look into it because the mirrors don't reflect properly and the edges are like jagged for some reason on specifically on AMD cards. It's really strange. It's something to do with the drivers or something from when I looked into it last, so. So here's Dustin. This is my Dustin Broke. Um, he lives in the trailer park. He has one kid with Angela who Angela won't let him see his child, so. That's the storyline we got there. Oh, okay, hi. Hi, Michelle. She just fawned over Kaylin. That's cute. He's whistling. He's talking about birds. Oh, she did not like him talking about birds. <laughs> That's awkward. Sorry. Oh, she wants to become friends with Dustin. Okay, we'll do that. She also, wait, does she have chemistry with Dustin? She does, she has two bolts with him. I love Kaylin's outfit. It's cute, isn't it? It's very Kaylin. Um, yeah, she's taking care of all her babies in these high heels. Oh, okay. Hi. He just walked by whistling at me. Okay, purr. I right, ready to hang out with Dustin. I want them to become friends. Oh, wow. She's so funny, isn't she? Kaylin has no work today, so we can just stay out as long as we want. <laughs> the butler's at home taking care of the kids. Talking to his ex-dad's... Ex-dad's baby moment, yes. His ex's dad's... No, ex's... Wait, it's ex's daughter's baby daddy, right? Because it's Daniel's, which is Angela's, his daughter. Yeah, okay, I don't know. All right, these two. All right, we need to do something here. Play the Kaylin. You want to play the Kaylin? Go tickle him. Kaylin needs fun really bad. Why don't we play Red Hands? Red Hands always gets their fun up. Someone said that. I think it was Acid. Go play Red Hands. All right, we need some more wishes. Get a back rub from Kaylin. Okay, we can do that. That's pretty easy. Back rub. I, oh my god, we're running out of time. We're running out of time. I'm getting anxiety. I'm getting hella anxiety from this game right now. Get a picture taken with Kaylin. Damn, he's just jumping right into it. We're gonna have them, um, where's the dance option? I think there needs to be music. Oh, slow dance. Let's do that. See if we can slow dance. Does that count as dancing? It does, right? Okay, we got two more minutes. Perfect. Daniel's daughter's baby daddy. So Kaylin's baby's daddy's daughter's ex. <laughs> That's so much. It's so much. Oh, she wants to flirt with Dustin. Okay, perfect. He also wants to get a job promotion. <laughs> That's random. All right, let's uh, let's have them flirt with each other. Let's do a charm. Oh, she already has a crush on him. Damn, she falls in love so fast. Like, Kaylin wastes no time. She fell in love so fast with him. All right, we're gonna kiss, make out, get a back rub from Kaylin. Let's do that. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're, they're already making out. Oh, this old guy's hitting on us now. Risky it up. All right, we'll risky it up. We'll risky it up. Risky boohoo it up. Uh, <laughs> should we do the signature photo booth that I've done a million times before? Guess we'll do it. This damn photo booth gets so much action. Let's go in woohoo. Maybe Dustin is desperate to get into Pleasant Slate by any means necessary. Ooh, that's a good interpretation, right? That's a really good interpretation. Stalk the house for weeks on end. Wait, okay, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna queue it up like this. Let's do casual woohoo photo booth. So then we can have our risky woohoo chance. All right, here we go. And there we go, guys. She has officially woohooed with Dustin Broke. <laughs> I know that photo booth squishes when you sit down in it. This photo booth, man, it gets an immense amount of action. It's like, actually insane. Michelle is just all over Kaylin. I'm running over to Dustin and give him a little romantic hug. Perfect. I don't know if I should have them date until we have a good date or just end it now, end it early. Might as well have her stay the day out. I mean, after all, we do have like a on-call person looking after our children at all times, so it's not too bad. I do feel like we need a bigger house now that we have like the genie money. Nina needs her fill. <laughs> Yeah, Nina hasn't had woohoo in a while. Last guy she woohooed with was, who was it? It was, um, Kennedy. Kennedy, like, a couple days ago. It's a little bit too long for, for Nina. He's, like, really, he likes her a lot. They have, I don't know, I feel like Dustin and Kaylin, guys, it might be the vibe. It might be the vibe. That's kind of, it's a weird combo. I would never have thought of it, but, like, it makes sense now. The kitchen in this place is not passing inspection, literally. Holy shit, I've never thought of that. 
That is so true. Uh, we flirted with by Caitlyn. Oh, what is this? He kissed lightly. That's kind of cute. He's like kissing her and stuff. I don't know, but like, uh, Dustin and Caitlyn seem to. I don't know. I kind of like them as like a combo together. She's laughing at a paper at a napkin dispenser. All right, I'm just gonna end the date here because we have a dream date, so there's really nothing else I can do. So just end the date and we'll have her head on home. You know, she does have four newborns to take care of, so that's something. He's definitely just trying to follow her kids because Angela won't let it. <laughs> he, he sees, oh my God, now she wants a public woohoo and be best friends with Dustin. Like, what is happening? She, do, we, do we quickly think, okay, why don't we quickly get in another woohoo because she wants a public woohoo. So two woos in a row. I guess we'll do that. Come on, Dustin. Dustin, come on. No, Dustin, get up. Oh, okay, well, we're not gonna have time now. I was gonna have him do a double woohoo because she wants the public woohoo, but it's just not gonna happen. We don't have the time. <clears throat> All right, go home. Oh, Bella's here. Hi, Bella. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Just casually, you know, woohooing with Dustin Broke. He's got ulterior motives because he's lovesick and he isn't over her. Probably true. You're probably true with that one. I would not be surprised. Bella. Bella Loca. Oh man. This was a ve very Why is the baby sitting on the floor? <laughs> There's a baby sitting on the floor. What? I'm so confused. It's sitting on the floor like a toddler. A family pic. It's so like, what is that? All right, everyone's sick here. Um, oh, someone said to lower the- where's my house? Oh, what is this? The store is empty, of course, except of course for Crazy Bill, who just hangs about in the canned goods section talking about how he used to work for some big company that invented apricots. So he decides to walk around the store with a broom and pretend she's sweeping. She spots a coin beneath the friggly freeze machine and jams the broom back behind the compressor to try and get it out. The machine goes haywire and starts spewing frozen friggly liquid everywhere to Nina trying to fix it with duct tape or chewing gum. Um, duct tape fixes everything. Nina grabs a roll of duct tape and attempts to stick the metal S-shaped thingy to the part that sort of looks like a swan, but she gets the sticky and smooth sides, the tape twisted. She fix tries to fix the tape, but only succeeds in getting her hair stuck in the intake vent. While she's stuck, three bored teenagers swipe a bunch of candy in magazines from the store. The thief comes out of Nina's paycheck and or theft comes out of Nina's paycheck and calls her a day's pay. No! Oh no. Damn it. Sticky and smooth, sticky and smooth, friggly, friggly liquid substance. I don't know what I said. All right, we didn't change the pitch of this roof. Like someone, I don't know who said it, but thank you. I will definitely do that. Roof angle chooser. We'll make it like, I don't know how big a roof needs to be. I'm gonna make it like small, small roof. That looks better, no? That looks better. Thank you for whoever said that. That actually changed it up a lot. I think the windows, are the windows too close together? I can't tell. I think they're fine. There is like a, uh, I think I need to move it over. It isn't- it needs to be like two spaces apart for each. Yeah, it looks better. That's just cute. It doesn't look boxy. Listen, Christopher. I can't tell you're being sarcastic or not. Alright, this- this butler is gonna- is really going through it. Look at the house! Oh my god, look at the house! It is a disaster. This house is an absolute disaster. Oh my god, my kids are in a horrible mood! <laughs> oh my god! This is horrible. This is the, these these kids are gonna die. They are they will die. I'm so sorry, but they are sick already, and this is just not helping anything. Oh my god! All right, I'm gonna try and get them in a better mood before we swap off this household. At least the butler's you know putting in the work. Okay, he can take care of this many kids. I think I don't know. Why does the house give me Simpsons vibes? The the change in the roof pitch definitely changed it up. Okay, I'm done with this household. We need to rotate off because we have, oh my God, four babies that are crying. Canada death from flies come from that mess. I think I don't I I I don't know. I'm rotating off them though. All right, so we finished up with the Caliente and Langarac family. That was absolutely hell. Look how many Sims they have. Like what is that? What is that? They have 11 people in this household now. Next up, we're moving on to the Burb family for the last 30 minutes of stream, which is gonna be fun. So we have John, we have Jennifer. John just had John just had quadruplets uh, with Kaylin, so that's great. We have Griffin and we have a baby, Monroe. So 
that's great. All right, let's get into some gameplay here. Where is, where do they live? I forgot where they live. They have a really nice house, though. Burb, here we go, perfect. Oh my God, she's pregnant with another one. What? She's pregnant, I forgot that Jen is like, watch, watch us have triplets again. Like, damn. I'm gonna quickly run another prediction poll so that we can get a prediction going for Jennifer Burb. I don't know how far she's into her pregnancy, so I'm gonna just run the prediction. All right, guys, you guys are getting a second prediction. Oh, she's like about to burst. Oh, she's really far along. Okay, so Jen's really, really far along. She's very far along. She has a very big baby bump. They have a beautiful house, though. I really like their house. Lucy used to live here, then I moved her out so we could have some more space um, because they will be welcoming more babies. What is happening in here? What are you doing, John? So John, <laughs> how many kids does John have? Let's take, a, let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has seven kids and he wants to have 10. So I think he can probably do it. He can probably do it, honestly. All right, I'm gonna have him take care of. At least this household's a lot smaller. It's only, you know, one kid and then, <gasps> oh, he got inheritance. What, who died? Oh, Mortimer. How did he get inheritance? I think it's because he was friends with Mortimer. Yeah, Mortimer died, R rest his soul. Rest his soul. This is a really cute house. I love it. I did not make this house. I don't know who did, so I can't answer. I think it's like Fratana. Is that right? Fratana? I don't know. Maybe. I guess we'll see. Someone in chat always knows. Jenna's in a pretty good mood though. This is a lot less chaotic than <laughs> the other household. I'm probably gonna have to play that household a little bit off camera because it's just a lot for me to play it on stream and like be able to commentate. Guys, when I play households like that, that have like four sims, um, I definitely am just super quiet and super focused, so. Yeah, Jen's, Jen's heavily pregnant right now. He just thought about adopting. Did you guys see that over his head? He had an adoption pop bubble. This man, this man is a cheater. Right here, this man is a cheater, okay? Just shame on him, shame on him. His wife pregnant at home, he's going out and getting Kaylin pregnant and stuff. It's not right. But they have a they have a son named Griffin who John sees as himself. Oh, why does he have an afro? Hello? <laughs> why does he have an afro? Um, I think he just oh no, he didn't just age up. I guess I just didn't change it. I'm gonna gussy him up. I guess I just maybe I didn't care enough to look at his hair close up. Shows the family tree, sickening. Alright, so Griffin is like John sees Griffin as his little self. Like this, he loves his son. He definitely has favorites, okay? Uh, and Griffin is definitely his favorite because he looks just like his dad. If you guys wanna see the family tree, we have John and Jen, obviously. And they have three kids together. They have Lucy who already went to college and she's living with her fiance. We have Griffin who's a, just a child. And then we have Monroe who is a blonde haired baby, little blonde haired Sim, so. Hi, Murto. Yeah, the family tree isn't like too confusing in this household because it's like relatively simple, but Griffin's up. I'm gonna have him go downstairs. Where, where's his homework at? Where'd he put it? Where, where is his homework? Did he have a desk in his room? Yes, he has a desk. I'm gonna have John help him with his homework because as I said, John like sees Griffin like as his twin. So he has like favoritism towards his son. Um, we're gonna have him help his son with homework. Oh my God, Jen, move! Move! I'm so frustrated, like the routing. Please, God, help me. They also want like a dog and a cat. They need to just pick one, okay? They need to pick one, a dog or a cat. I'll get them a dog or a cat. Well, I think I should wait until Jen gives birth just to make sure she doesn't have like a million children. <laughs> Cause that would be very sad. This house is really cute, right? It's very, it's very like small and just quaint. It's quaint. All right, has he learned anything? He learned how to use the potty chair. And you learn how to talk. So now all he needs to do is learn how to walk. He's screaming at the top of his lungs. I have John go and get some dinner. And Jen, I'm gonna have her help uh, Griffin learn how to, or Monroe, I keep getting their names mixed up. How about a roach? A roach seems good, that seems like a good pet. I agree with you guys, roach would be cute. Little roach pet. Teach Monroe how to walk. Griffin is drawing in here. I'm gonna have him get out because I don't want him upstairs. He's gonna get in the way, teaching the baby how to walk. This is so much quieter than 
like Kaylin, Kaylin's household and Nina's household like damn this is so much quieter I feel like the title of the YouTube look at look at they look like twins oh my god they're actually twins here this is a this has got to be a photo um uh, can I like focus them in the in the thing hello I move it if I move it it's gonna get like blurry sometimes I wish with reshade like I could choose that something that wasn't like in the center I just don't think it's gonna work I'm just gonna photo with his dad there we go wow what an angle it looks like a freaking cinematography from a movie so he doesn't act up like his father uh he is a what's him is he he is a a aquarius which is a family sim oh my god he's gonna be just like his dad oh no he's generally gonna just be just like his dad he's a family sim damn that's actually terrifying <laughs> i'm scared i'm gonna be scared i don't want it wait did he learn how to walk already that was fast if he did oh he did wow okay so he's he's done he learns everything he could be romance family um oh wait is it two does it correspond to wait no he's aquarius so it's just family all right let's see did i give them secondary aspirate i don't remember yeah she's a family sim and john is a yeah he's got all of his secondary aspirations All right, Carpool's coming in an hour for the bus. I'm gonna have Jen pay these bills. She is um, a businesswoman, by the way. She's, oh no, she's in law, sorry, she's a law. So she is a girl boss for sure. They're all family sims? Well, Jen is, uh, Jen's fortune, and then John's family, and then he's gonna be family. Jen is secondary family, she's secondary family, so. Yeah. She gives me family sim vibes, honestly. I think I, I don't think she's normally family sim if you like add up their, if you like the calculator, the secondary aspiration calculator, but I got family sim vibes from her. So that's why I give her that. All right, go to school. He goes to private school by the way, cause the verbs are, they're bougie, they're rich. So who's this sim? Oh my God, this is um Lillian from the household we just played. This is her dad. We see him live in the fresh. What, fresh? <laughs> Flesh. Oliver Desperate. This is him. Yeah, he's definitely, definitely not a looker. He's a look away -er, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So. Rich, but obviously not rich enough for child support. True. What is Jen doing? She's like stuck. Hello? I hear like a soap opera going on in the other room. Go sleep. Jen can't, what is the problem? She can't get to the bed or something? I'm gonna have her go up here and see if she can get upstairs. She can get upstairs. She can't get in the other side of the bed for some reason. Sleep. Uh, hello? What's the problem? She can't get in the bed! Reset bed. Sleep. Okay, so they can sleep on one side but not the other? What? Okay, I think it's because John has had the other side set to him. Yeah, do you have where's- yeah, it's- it's where's my bed. That was- that was what was causing the problem. That was strange. The side John's on, yeah. I changed the color of the bed for some reason, that's so weird. There we go. <laughs> they- they have Kennedy Cox and Oliver Desperate do have the same outfit on, strangely enough. I don't know why, but they do have the same outfit on, which is very weird. Anyway, they're all asleep, so I'm gonna speed through this. We're just getting, we're waiting for her to give birth. I hope it's not multiples. Praying. How many sets of quads have we had? I think we had two sets. No, Brandy had, did Brandy have triplets or quads? I think Brandy had quads too. Wait a second, that's weird. Very weird. John's a cop, by the way. Oh no, he's in the slacker career. Did I have him get a, I forget why he had to get new jobs. He wants to be an education minister. How did he go? Cause normally he's a cop. Actually, I think he got fired. Maybe? I don't remember. I, I don't remember why he's not a cop, but he's in the soccer career. I have no idea. I think that John got fired and then he had a wish to join the soccer career. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Maybe. I don't know. Jen's ready to get back to work. She wants to go to work. I'm gonna have her come downstairs and study some logic. Uh, go downstairs and play some chess on the computer. 
Go through the burb, pleasant and brook friendly trees since Angela had dust and skin. Okay, so we can go. Are you saying like you want me to like connect them? So if we went to John and we went to one of his kids that he just had with Kaylin, we could then track that to Finn, who is Daniel's son. That's how like the family trees are connected. You want me to go through like each one and say who's who? Is that what you're asking, Eve? So Daniel, <clears throat> Daniel, oh, you mean, oh, because you mean Jen and Daniel are siblings, right? Is that what you're saying? So here's all. We have Phineas, Finn, and Felix that we just played. Rory is Dustin's son. Yeah, Rory is Dustin's son. That is correct. And then Kaylin's trying to get with Dustin. So it's, it's a mess. This family tree is a mess. <laughs> Oh my god, look at all the child support. Oh man, we just- Oh, the amount of child support, damn. Ugh. So you can check how many kids Brandy had. Oh, Brandy? Brandy didn't have too many, actually. Um, surprisingly enough, she didn't have too many this time around. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is not a lot for her. She normally wants to have ten, so... She's currently moved in with Darren. I think I'm gonna have them have another baby. Hi, Trin. If she has one more baby, then she can complete like the tens and, you know, ten babies want. So that'll be nice. <laughs> nice is a whole village. Not that much. Really, it's not that much for Brandy. Like, let's be real here. She wants to... Before she's an elder, if you if you manage to have her have a lot of kids, and that's... You have to you have to have her keep having babies, because with a short lifespan like mine, you have to keep the turnover rate like they when they pop out one baby they have to then get pregnant like immediately almost after because otherwise you're not gonna have enough time to have her complete that wish so yeah um are we gonna order some groceries what we just got money what was that for oh i think she got maternity leave oh he's serenading her that was actually so wholesome jen earned 5k nice job jen right, let's order some groceries She's only one away. Right to Kaylin who has seven. Yeah, you know. They're just aging up. I think she's secretly an elder. All right, uh, Monroe's, oh no, Griffin. I keep getting their names confused. Griffin, his name is Griffin, right. Griffin here, maybe Madness, I know. I really enjoy that he puts the homework right down where it's supposed to go. That's actually very helpful. So, oh, we have uh, food delivery here. Go get your food, Jen. Food delivery. Like, Sims 2 was so ahead of the times because in 2004, if you were to ask somebody if they got groceries delivered, I feel like everyone would have said no. But like nowadays, that is so common to get your gro- My game lagged. Okay, I'm saving. <laughs> I'm saving. Oh my god. It scared the shit out of me. I almost had a heart attack. Spiral staircase. Yes. Too many babes. Too many problems. That's true. Um, I'm going to put this back i'm just gonna hide it it's scaring the shit out of me shit, shit out of me whenever my game like has like a micro lag when it starts to snow it scares me save 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 all right dude, so 12 hours there we go where's griffin griffin i'm gonna have him and his dad go and hang out because i already mentioned his dad and him are like each other they're like a I don't know, like a two peas in a pod. Look at him, they're wearing the same clothes too. Like it just makes sense. All right, Jen is going in the back. Why, Jen, <laughs> why'd you just put your groceries down? They're gonna get gross and warm. Grocery deliveries are the best, true. I'm gonna have Jen go and take a bath. Oh, they're playing outside, how cute. What is John's cooking? Okay, they have like the same cooking. I'm just gonna have him make dinner tonight. Spaghetti. Did you ever download the Razor Cortex game booster? No, I didn't download it. Let me let out Monroe. Go upstairs, go to sleep, he's super tired. Jen should be giving birth any minute now. Like, she's gotta be heavily pregnant. Right? Oh, I don't have an ACR just around this hot. What the fuck? How'd I miss that? Spawn. Adjust. 
Have a romance spawn adjuster. Misc change model. We'll make it like a rose bush and put it in the backyard or something. Put it right here. She's gonna pop. Yeah, she's heavily pregnant. I don't know what's taking so long. 66 hours. Oh my gosh, she has six hours left, guys. Six. That's it. Six hours left. She's so close. She's so close. Just eating. Uh, I know we have so much time left. All right, let's put this away. Put away. She should have the baby in no time, though. John's in a really great mood. Manifesting four girlies. I'm gonna send Jen to bed because she's kind of tired. Ellie says one baby. Yeah, it always says one baby though. I've noticed even when it even when it's multiples, it always says that. I don't know why. It might be a glitch with like my triplets and quads mod. It might just always say one baby. How, where would they go? They're, I'm gonna add another crib in this nursery here. There's one. There's space right here on the wall. And Monroe will be aging up in two days, so I, I'm gonna just stick him into um, Griffin's room. So then we'll just be in like a solo nursery, which will be nice. Okay, I'm gonna have John help Monroe with his homework. He's in a pretty good mood, so ask for homework help, John. Come wake up. Ask his dad for some help. Don't manifest multiples. We do not need multiples again. That would be horrific. Absolutely horrific. I do not want that. Why are you waking me up? Child. She should be popping any minute now. Any minute. Any minute. Oh, did he already finish his homework? Oh, he's in a bad mood. Okay. Go and um, watch some TV. John has work like right now. I'm gonna, can I have him sleep at all? He literally has work in 30 minutes. I don't think he can sleep. Frick. He's gonna go- he's gonna be super tired when he goes to work, it's fine though. You know, honestly, he doesn't seem like that sus when we play him. Like, he seems like a pretty good dad. <laughs> but then we play him with, like, Kaylin and he has, like, four kids with her and it's like, what? He seems like a pretty good dad. I don't know, guys. He's not seeming too horrible. Why is there a nanny here? Hello? Why is there a nanny? I did not hire a nanny. Maybe I did, I just forgot, but what the hell? End services! Stop, Karen! Stop making my bed! End the damn services! Goodbye! Alright, she's gonna give birth any second here. The phone's ringing. I'm never going to answer it. Oh my god, it's ringing so loud. Hello? Who is it? It's Griffin. Yes, Griffin can talk to you. I don't know who you are, but... I don't know why a teenage girl is calling my son. But whatever. Maybe it's just some neighborhood gossip type beat. She has to be given birth any second now. Any second. She has got to be popping just any second. Maddie, tell pizzas four boys. No, don't manifest four boys. We'll see. We'll literally any second here. We'll find out. Okay, any second. All right, you guys ready? I think it's gonna happen now. I'm so nervous. Please don't be multiples. Please, don't do it to me, game. I'm gonna get her in like a in the middle of the living room. So when it does happen. She won't be. What, what? You trying to dance the baby out, girl? <laughs> how is she not? How is she not popping yet? Oh my god! How is this possible? Now? Is it now? No. How is she not pregnant? Oh my god! She's sleeping. She's sleeping straight up. Okay, we gotta send her to bed. Oh my god! That scared me. That was a jump scare. Two girls. She fell asleep s sitting in her chair. That's kind of cute. All right, go sleep. It's very tired. All right, go sleep. I think she's she's due any minute now. She's due any minute, guys. Any minute. Uh, are we nervous? Because I am. How is she? Okay, there we go. Here we go. Here we go, guys. It's game time. It's game time. There we go. All right. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Just one. Just one. Just one. Please. Just one. Just one. Please. Please, Jen. Don't, don't give me multiples. No multiples, Jen. No multiples. Come on, girl. Work it out. Oh, just one, thank God. It's just one. It's just one, guys. Oh. Thank God, it is one child. Oh my God, I would've died. I would've literally died. Thank God. Here we go. There's like a branch in the way. What is that? 
I can't see! There's a br- I- I didn't get to see the baby. Oh! Uh, Jen's staying home for the new baby. Wait, is it a girl? It's bouncing- is this- It's a girl! It's a girl! Yay! Congrats, people who voted a girl, because you were correct. Congratulations! Alright, so, we are on letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. U. U is the letter. U, ba baby, baby letter U. So it's gonna be something, something, U. We need U names. Una? <laughs> Murto? <laughs> You're on the letter U. Yes, we're on the letter U. What about Una? Ursula? Ursula's giving Little Mermaid, so no. <laughs> I need to like look up baby girl names. Baby girl you names. Let's look those up. Una. Oh, this is a hard letter. Uma, like Uma Thurman. I don't know. This, this, the options are limited. Ulyssa. I don't, I'm not liking any of these names. I guess Una's our only, all okay, we're gonna name her Una, whatever. Una, we have like 25 more um, letters until we come back to this. So Una, <laughs> baby Una, she has Jen's black hair. How cute. Oh, she has brown eyes and black hair. I feel like she's going to be cute. I wish, you know, one thing about The Sims 2 is that I can't do what I do in The Sims 3 where I age them up like ahead of time and like look at what they're going to look like. I wish I could do that. I guess I could take them in body shop, but that would take, that's too extra. That's too extra. I'm not doing all that, so yeah. Herbs, herbs, burbs. <laughs> I like that. Herbs, burbs. All right, so there's their baby. I'm gonna save. And who said save? Oh, I, I didn't even hear the save part. Whoever sent that, thank you. But yeah, baby Una. Here we go. X is yeah. I usually skip X. I do skip X. Um, just not enough names. To, to do X names, so usually I skip it. Pretty good though. Xandra. Okay, John's home. He's gonna come home and he's gonna have a new baby. That's fun. <laughs> he's like, who's this child that was born when I was away? Xavier? Yeah, I guess, I guess we do Xavier. Xavier for a boy. I'm gonna have him go use the bathroom and then we're gonna have John hold Una. You know, John, like when we play him in other households, this feels like a totally different John than when I play him in like the own, the verbs rotation. It just feels, it feels like a different John. I don't know why. I guess this is like the double life of John Burr, right? I feel like he isn't in, in love with Jen, like he really is, but he just can't keep it in his pants. He's like a sperm bank for the town, honestly. <laughs> At this point, like everyone's got a John baby. He's fooling us too. I know, right? It's like, what? He's like so sweet and caring towards his kids. He like loves Griffin so much and all that. But then suddenly, you know, it comes to, it comes to other households and he's just being a, being a sperm bank. <laughs> he's a family man. All right, I'm gonna have him put him in the crib. Um, Monroe needs some food. I'm not even going to use the bathroom. Jen's in a good mood. She's in platinum. Look at her. Yeah, she either really likes... She likes working more than she likes being like a stay-at-home mom. So I'm gonna have her keep working. Um, you know, we all get- we all get satisfaction from different things in life. Brandy Broke gets satisfaction from having a million babies, but Jen Burb, she gets satisfaction from having lots of money. And that's okay. You know, that's okay. That is okay. Peter Griffin, family guy, what? It's a facade. It is a facade. You're not wrong. He's thinking about babies again. He's obsessed with children. Go go eat that. Go drink that. Jim Burb is me, same. What? He's relaxing, what? I think they're about to make another child, <laughs> what? I think they queued up a autonomous woohoo. That was spooky. Are they gonna cuddle? Oh, Monroe's gonna wake them up. Oh, they're cuddling, look at that, how cute. She looks kinda naked. Oh my God, her eyes are open as she's sleeping. I think it's her eyeliner. 
I think it's her eyeliner below her eye. All right, we need to put, oh my God, it's time. It's time. Taking care of more babies, here it comes. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be tough. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Here we go, the crying begins. This is a very small room for these two children. It's okay though. All right, put Una in there. I'm gonna have her continue to work, um, go study some skills, just do logic skill. She's like Mr. Krabs from Spongebob, all about money and occasionally thinks about her kids. <laughs> Pearl, Pearl. Did he leave? Oh no, I thought he had, oh, okay. He doesn't have school today, cool. He's gonna have really good grades, honestly. He goes to private school, so he's gonna be with all the rich kids. Hundred baby challenge where John gets all the women pregnant. Oh my god, I wanna I kinda just wanna do like seeing whose genetics makes like what baby. You know what I mean? Like kind of like a genetics challenge. Like what pre-maids make the best children? Ooh, that'd be such a good YouTube video. Which pre-maids in The Sims 2 make the best looking children? <gasps> That's such a good video idea. I hypothesize it'd probably be Brandy and maybe Brandy and Dawn, or maybe Brandy and Darren. Darren has pretty good genetics. What? Who, what? Oh, the gardener's here. I was like, what? Make that video? I know. Wouldn't that be a good video idea? Probably Brandy. It has to be someone in Brandy. It's gotta be maybe Jen, actually, because Jen is very pretty. Brandy and Chico. Ooh, Brandy and Chico. But I mean, like, Pleasant View. Dawn has kind of, like, he kind of gives them this really bulbous nose, like his children. And too ugly too. The ugliest. That, that has to be like, I have to split it up in two separate videos, okay? <laughs> Jen's thinking. She's like, she's she's making me video ideas right now. That'd be a really good, that would be a really good video. Dawn has a long face. I don't think Dawn is that attractive, in my humble opinion. I think he looks good if you give him a makeover. Oh, this is a gorgeous photo. It's actually really pretty. With, with the gardener in the background. <laughs> I love this household. It's so peaceful. Bernie and Chico. Yeah, but Chico's blue at our village. He's not Pleasant View. So. Dawn and Nina. Mm. Dina has, or Nina has, a, Dina and Nina have really V-shaped faces, like to the point that their chins could cut glass. So I don't think it'd be Nina and Dina. Obviously it's all subjective. Like if you really like a V-shaped face, then I mean, you're gonna really like their kid, the babies that they make together, but I'm it's gotta be Brandy and someone else because Brandy has the best looking like default face. I also think she has the most like template face. Like Brandy has a very template face number one. Template template face number one, she has that. <clears throat> Dirk is cute too, yeah. The gardener's lurking, yeah. The gardener's lurking in the background. All right, Jen's just typing away on her computer. Um, he works nights, so I'm not gonna wake him up. I'm gonna let Jen take care of Monroe. Monroe is just kind of annoying the shit out of me right now. He's not really doing much. I might send um, Griffin to go to the park. Let's go to the park with Griffin. Can I have him go alone? I can't have him walk anywhere. Maybe I'll have Jen take him to the park. We can have John watch over Griffin. Let's have let's have a mom and son day with Griffin and Jen. That seems cute. Brandy and Darren. I was saying Brandy and Darren too. I think it might be Brandy and Darren. All right, let's go to lot community lots. Let's take Griffin and we'll go to the park with him. Let's go to Woodland Park. <clears throat> Brandy and Dirk's kids. That's a weird combo. <laughs> Brandy and Dirk. Uh. I don't know if I like that because in my pleasant view, Dirk is Brandy's stepson, so it's like, yikes. Dirk is very good looking. He is a very good looking sim, so it might be Brandy and Dirk. I might do for like the video, I might might do like who out of the pleasant view like adults, not like playing a couple of days in and like aging them up. I think I'm gonna do like pleasant view adults only. It would be a really cool experiment to do, I will say. All right, so we're at the park with Griffin. 
she wants to get a cat and a dog really bad. Does he have? No, he doesn't care. He doesn't want any of that. He also wants to be friends with Bonnie, which is interesting because she's several years older than him. I don't know what's happening there. I don't, I'm not gonna think about it. Um, let's swing around. I'm gonna swing around. Brandy and Daniel's kids. Daniel has a, has a really, um, like a, the only way I can describe it is like a shark. You know how a shark has like a super pointy nose? Daniel has a super, super pointy nose and his bridge is kind of, it kind of comes out. So he gives, like we, we, we saw it with Kaylin and Daniel's kids just like a couple, 30 minutes ago. He gives them a really schnauzer. Honestly, he gives them a schnauzer. Daniel gives his kids a schnauzer. He wants to learn anger management. What is that? <laughs> That's so bizarre. I'm gonna have him go and play some chess. Him and his mom go play some chess together. Dustin and Mary Sue. I never even thought about Mary Sue. Oh my God, there's so many combinations. How many adults is there in Pleasant View? That's gonna be a very long video. That will be a very long video. Oh, Mary Sue's here. Speaking of Mary Sue, she's here. She's playing some chess with us. Hi, Mary Sue. She's very cute. I love Mary Sue. Cute. He gives him the same nose as Angela got, yes. Dustin, D Dustin and Mary Sue does feel illegal. <laughs> it really, well, it is illegal in at least base game Pleasant View or vanilla Pleasant View. You have to age Dustin up. Dance on her husband's grave, she did, yeah. I love how when kids play chess in The Sims 2, they sit on a stack of books. Isn't that cute? Look at this, the small details. How cute, so you can like see the board. So cute. I'm gonna have her make some food for everybody because she's very hungry. Oh, Abji is here. Um, let's go to her and grill, grill, hot dogs. Do like a tier list and put them from nasty to brandy broke beautiful. It's gonna be something brandy. The, the problem is, is there's too many combinations. I'm gonna be there all day. Like if I do brandy and Darren, brandy and Daniel, brandy and I don't know, Dawn, like it's so many combinations that video is gonna take so long. I'm gonna have to pick like 10 Sims and just do it out of those 10 Sims. And maybe make like a part two to it because there's just too many combinations. So, I don't know. Um, you can, I hate when they serve up like a million different things. Just eat the hot dog. Just eat the hot dog, man. Just eat it. Mommy and Sunday. Brandy and Mortimer. Oh, I never even thought of Brandy and Mortimer. You know, Brandy and Mortimer, I've never even thought about getting them together. I think a tier list video, yeah, that seems to be the best way to do it. All right, I think this day is about over because they're not really doing anything. You don't have to clean up, Jen. You're at the park, it'll it'll clean up for, for you. Okay, let's go harm. I left for like five minutes. Where did the kids go? They're having a they're having a mom and Sunday at the park. It's a hot dogs on the floor in the soggy rain for me. I know it's gross. It's like pouring. It is pouring in this game right now. Absolutely downpour. Mortimer and Dina make cute babies. Yeah, Dallas was good looking. Um, in my game, Dallas. We have to get, we have to get them back. He's the one that has so much trauma from his childhood. Dallas, you guys remember that video? You could download them and save them in body shop somehow and you can play with their genetics and cast. I think so. Yeah, that's probably how I would have to do it is like go in body shop. One thing I don't like about body shop is it's super dark. Like the screen is like super dark. There's probably mods to like light up body shop, but it's super dark in there. What kid is crying? How is Una crying? Is she hungry? She's crying and her mood isn't even like down or anything. I wonder why that is. She's gotta be hungry, right? Dallas, was he the one that grew up with the broke kids? No, he is, um, Dallas is Dina and Mortimer's son that has all the trauma because Dina was using him to, like, get Malcolm Langrab over to their house, so, yeah, he's got trauma for sure. Alright, go put her back. Gardner's leaving as well. You know, the Brokes, uh, the Brokes, I just called them the Brokes. The Burbs have quite a lot of money, but it's probably gonna go to shit because, um, John 
it has like five kids, so. The Purge Mask. The Purge Mask. Was that Dallas? I forget. One of the kids looks like a Purge Mask. I forget which one it is. One of them definitely does, though. Let's hold Monroe. I'm gonna have him go and bathe Monroe. See, this is like, when I play in my own time when I'm not commentating, this is what the households are. They're like super just like domesticated sort of sort of stuff like this. Domestication. Now let's go put Monroe in the crib. And he wants to call Lucy. That's so cute. He wants to call his daughter to talk. Let's go ahead and call her. He's a good dad. Um, I just don't know why he walks out on his wife so much. He really does seem to be like taking care of his kids pretty well. I mean, he's he's here all day with them. And he wants to call Lucy like on top of it. I think it's like the, it's the torn, it's the torn of being a family sim and a romance sim. He's a good dad because he's a family sim, but he's also a horrible husband because he's a romance sim, if that makes sense. It's really a character to see John like this, right? I mean, like I said, after all, he is a family sim. So I don't know. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end today's stream there because, I mean, we're just pretty much... I don't want to, like, play all of the Burbs days right now. So, who's this? He's going to call. Is Griffin... Bonnie keeps calling Griffin. I don't know what to think about it. Okay, I don't know how to feel about it. Anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save and I'm going to end stream. So, I hope you guys did all enjoy stream today. Good dad, terrible husband. True. Yeah, he's a good dad, terrible husband. That's a good way to put it. Um, but I'll see you guys all next Saturday, 7 p.m. EST, same time as always. We'll be back playing the Burbs, so we'll see what John gets up to there. I don't know. Um, but yeah, good night, guys. Hope you have a nice night. Bye!